Thank you very much for the apples, Daniel. I find it so strange that, like, there's been two times now where I've started up the stream, on the, and I've had, like, this random uh, assortment of Stardew Valley music playing. And right as I'm about to, like, start talking in the stream, it goes to the Stardew Valley Overture. I'm not complaining, it's a great song, it's just, like, what are the odds that it'll be, like, the first song in the entire OST? And then two times like that. How's everybody doing tonight? Can you hear me okay? I messed around with some settings, so hopefully it's... hopefully I didn't break everything. But I think we're doing alright. Welcome back, Karita. You see Greg? He's a little bit hidden, just like he is in the actual game, so... But he is, uh, he is part of part of our little splash screen at the start here now. I'm not going to be adding, I don't want to set an unfair precedent that I'm going to be adding something to this splash screen every single stream, even though I have added, like, a new thing for the past three streams. But I will add things as they become important. Greg the Garlic Farmer just chilling in the corner down there. We appreciate him. Luck is hopefully in your favor tonight. I hope so, too. I want to try and be as I very productive tonight. Not that we haven't been productive on previous streams, but I feel like I need more structure, and I feel like I need more goals. The splash screen is delightful, and I'm glad you like it, Snow Cone Wars. So I have a lot of fun putting it together. The hat mouse asked about the lucky bow. It only seemed fitting, right? It only seemed fitting. Best of luck, Owl Man. I hope your challenge run goes well. I'm glad I could inspire you to do something like that. All right. Before we get into the actual proper uh, meat and potatoes of the stream, as I like to say, we do have, as is sometimes tradition, we have some new fan art to go over. So let's go over to our fan art reel here. So we'll go through some of the older stuff first. This is the, this is one of the first ones I received. Still love all these just as much as I did uh, when I first got them. If not even more, they always just like grow on me. There's some really good stuff. Make sure to check out these people on Twitter. I've got all their Twitter handles in the bottom left there. I've actually been using this one as my new phone background. And it just makes me smi smile every time I see it. They all do, obviously. But that one's a good, uh, a good aspect ratio for the phone, so. All right, and now I believe we get into the new ones. Yes, this one was sent to me not long ago by uh, Asenik on Twitter. I didn't. Put, they put their own little thing in the bottom left there, so that's uh, that's. But that is their handle on Twitter. Very adorable. I love Timby. Looks so fluffy in this picture, and I love it. He is the floofiest little boy, and it's just such a wholesome vibe. Honestly, it's it really is quite beautiful. Love the sunset atmosphere, sunset slash sunrise. That's like my favorite kind of sky. Other than I actually really like overcast sky, but for a picture like this, I think that's probably a probably a better pick. So thank you very much to Asenik for that. We also have this uh, beautiful one from an artist who wished to remain anonymous. Their name is not anonymous. That's a, that's a different thing. But um, I don't know if this music exactly fits the atmosphere they were going for with this picture, but I love it. It is just the lighting, the, the hat. The hat is so big and beautiful. You can look at the little etchings in the uh, in the fence. There's one that says like it's like Chloe Hart Haley or Haley Hart Chloe. It's hard to see from this distance. It's a little small. <laughs> but that is a fantastic little, little piece of art right there. Thank you very much to the uh, anonymous artist for that one. And last but not least... We got another little Chloe here. We got her with her little twin tails, her little twin pigtails in her sun hat. She's just got... And the, the heart locket, this is this is from Seven from chat. I don't know if you're in chat. Uh, they didn't want credit on Twitter. They just... There you are. I see you, Seven. There's Seven in chat right there, so you can credit them on this lovely little piece that we got. They didn't want uh, credit on Twitter because they don't really use it, but... And that's honestly totally fair. I, I very rarely use Twitter myself, so... No harm, no foul. The locket is specifically for pictures of Tim Beeb. 
So I've been told, and you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. This is straight. This is straight up Earthbound music that I'm listening to right now. Is what it feels like. And that is the last of our fan art for now. Reels back to the start here. So thank you everyone so much for sending those in. Everyone who did. I think it's time to hop into the stream proper. Let me get my game audio going. And into Frugal Farm. Day six of summer. All right, we got Gus's birthday coming up not too far from now. And we have a, uh, we have diamonds for that. I did, I did a little bit of like, a little bit of planning, a little bit of research before hopping into this stream. Just so I was sort of on top of some things. I know we have Gus's birthday and not long after that we have Maru's birthday. She likes diamonds as well, but she also likes gold bars. So I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that because we're not deep, we're not very deep in the mines just yet. My game gonna load? Excuse me. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I, th I think I might have been clicked off the screen. That might have been what was happening there, but that's uh, that's that. Yes, big ups to Seven in chat for for the amazing fan art and to all the other fan artists. If you wish to send me any kind of fan art yourself, just tweet me at Argon Matrix or send me a uh, a DM over there. My DMs are always open. You got some gold last stream? I did, didn't I? Let me, hold on, let me check my, uh, my TV beforehand. Get things all in order here. The spirits are very happy today. Seems like a mines kind of day. Although I do really, one of the, one of the big goals I want is, a uh, thunder and lightning. Which, I mean, I guess that's gonna work out. But I want to try and, uh, complete as much of the fish tank as possible. I'm just keep, I'm feeling kind of a fishy mood. You know, sometimes when that mood strikes you where it's just like, man, I just really want to do one thing or the other in Stardew today, and today I kind of really want to fish a lot. Like, I know we can get, uh, I think we can get the Shad and the Tiger, I think we can get pretty much all this, except the Catfish. Although, I did look, the Catfish is apparently available for fishing in the secret woods when it's raining in summer, which is a very random thing that I never knew, but it was on the page in the wiki, so, so there's that. Um, Master Fisher, the Octopus is available, right? The Octopus is a summer dude. But is he like a summer rain boy, or is he just like a summer really difficult to catch uh, boy? That's something I'm not fully aware of. Walleye we can't get until fall. Maru was your first star, do you love? You know what, I can't, uh, I can't begrudge you that. Maru's pretty chill. Uh, the sturgeon obviously is another important one to catch here, that's in, that's in the lake. Summer in the morning. Okay, so we can make our... Well, actually, I guess we don't need to make our way down to the beach. We can actually catch it on the beach farm, in theory. Sunny mornings. Okay. Good to know for the octopus. Um, And then these guys. I don't know if I can catch... The sardine might be a spring... A spring original. I'm not sure about that. By the way, YouTube... You're telling me my audio bitrate is zero again? I think I thought we'd been over this. I'm pretty sure they can hear me. I'm pretty sure y'all can hear me just fine, so... Can you hear the game okay? Because I, I did mess around with the game audio settings a little bit, just to make just to uh, sort of streamline my own setup. It looks like you should be able to hear the, the music and everything. Got to a stream early for once. Welcome in Rageworm. Loud and clear. YouTube only tells lies. Apparently, it's not been the most uh, forthright with me. But I guess that's just uh, just growing pains with the stream, really. All right. But because we do have a good luck day, it's probably best to try and uh, fast track the mines. So let's just see what we can get done here. Uh, we do have some gold bars. Whoever said that was right on the money. Oh my goodness. So we got we'll save uh, at least one of those for Maru's birthday. We got one of these for Gus's birthday. After that, who's the next birthday? Is it maybe Sam? Sam comes up at some point later this month. I don't know if we'll get that far in this stream, but we shall see. Got a lot to, like, go over here. Okay. Timbeeb, hello. Welcome good. Welcome to you as always. Everyone say hi to Timbeeb. Alright, let's water ourselves up here. Have you ever played an instrument? I did play uh, tuba back in... Back in high school slash middle school. And middle school band was actually a requirement for us. That dropped off when we got to high school. But I figured it was like a fun extracurricular anyway. So I was uh, 
I wasn't too concerned about it. Check out the new rods I'm selling. I'm going to have to pass you on that, Willie. I don't know if you've heard, but we're trying to do a challenge run here. I figured it would be common knowledge by now, but I guess uh, some people just don't pay attention. Oh, well. I guess he's got bigger fish to fry, if you'll pardon the pun. All right. You have got to be kidding. These periwinkle, they could have asked. There's, there's like, this is like one of the three options they could have asked for, and it's absolutely the worst one. You're considering making a mod for Sardi Valley? That's cool, Chaos Stripe. What are you planning on modding in? Yo, Creatrix Tiara, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. If there's a feature you could add or change to the base game starting, what would it be? Your work is great. Thank you very much for the compliment at the end there. Um, if I could add or... Oh my gosh, that's actually a really big question. Feature I could add or change. I mean, for the purposes of this challenge, it would probably be getting to the secret woods without having to... Uh, it, it would probably make it so... I would probably make it so that tool upgrades are not required. <laughs> But that's uh, neither here nor there. For actual like quality of life purposes, I honestly couldn't tell you. I'd have to think about that long and hard. All right, hardwood's going to be a bit of a tough one here. But we do need to upgrade our axe eventually anyway. So it might just be it might just be in our best interest, honestly, because we have lots of the copper here. We have the money for it. We might, might as well we have the, we actually even have, even have the iron for the uh, the steel upgrade, right? So it might be worth it to bite that bullet. Yeah, I think it's probably that's probably wise. Can't use a chair, you can, but I'm uh, avoiding glitches and exploits for this run, and that would I that's I one I would consider an exploit. So we're not gonna concern ourselves with it. Good looking out though. All right, so I want to go to the mines. Um, someone was did make a very good point that when I go, whenever I go to the mines, I always have my hoe on me. I usually carry the hoe around in case I find artifact spots, but there's no reason for, it to, for me to carry it into the mines. So I might as well leave it in the chest when I go to the mines. That was left in a comment on one of the VODs, so we'll definitely do that as far as like inventory management goes, because every space matters here. The, the periwinkles forced my budget. I was worried they might. These little eldritch demons here. If it's not too much to ask, could you bring us a small tithing? Of five lonely hardwood. We hunger. We hunger for the flesh of these hardened trees. <laughs> kind of petered out at the end there, but I was I was doing my best Eldritch Demon impression. I hope you liked it. This is my audition tape for uh, for a Call of Cthulhu musical. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I am going to actually stop by Pierre's at some point here, too. Because one thing I did forget is that I want to get a hop starter very early in the season. Because I need to buy a hop starter for the shipment requirement of the Price of Perfection bundle. You can see that in the checklist that I've linked down below. It is one of the required things. Uh, thank you very much, Logic, for the $10 super chat. Not staying. Sa Hi there. Sadly, I'm not staying because I haven't finished the rest of the streams yet. But I wanted to say I love your content. Also, shout out to yourself. All right, shout out to Argon Matrix for uh, being a, a real bro in this challenge. <laughs> Thank you very much, Logic. That's very kind of you, and I hope you uh, get. I oh, I do. Y'all are so right. I'm so out of it right now. Let me actually just check the calendar here, though, for a second. All right, Gus is in just a couple days. I do need the axe to like upgrade the axe. That's that's a smart idea. But yeah, Logic, I hope you get caught up with the streams uh, soon enough, and then uh, you can join us live. But thank you for watching the VODs, too. Elder snails in need of wood. True facts. Okay, get our, get our axe. If you fish one of the periwinkles out and then put it back in, they can reset what they want. I didn't know that, but I don't know if I'm, I'm going to need to do that necessarily, just because I do need to upgrade this axe at some point eventually, so we might as well just bite the bullet today. I'll be making an added content mod for the mod Fashion Sense, which which would add plant theme styles of fashion through slash plant person. That sounds really cool, uh, Chaos Stripe. I, lo I love the cosmetic mods. They're, they're some of my most favorite, honestly. All right. So, unfortunately, one of the very first things we're going to be doing in this stream we have to, we have to add to our costs here. This is actually going to push us over the six thousand mark if my ma math is correct, because we're at what fifty nine sixty five. This is going to put us at like sixty twenty five. 
That's a big oof. But the hop starter is required. There's no other way to get it. There's no other way to get hops. It's just a, it's just a necessary evil. So let's let's do that. It's been done. Let me go ahead and update my uh, I'll update the description as well as the checklist here. So checklist. Where's the hop starter on here? Right there. Put a little. Oh gosh, I didn't expect that to pop up up there, but that's okay. Okay, and we add. Let me go ahead and. Sorry, editing this on the fly is a little touch and go sometimes. This should be 6,025 if my math is correct. Correct me if I am wrong on that. I've been known to make math errors from time to time, but that sounds right to me. 60 gold, I know. It's every little bit hurts. It hurts every time. And we're about to take a much bigger hit once we head over to Clint's here. Are you planning on removing the accidental purchases from the end total? If I make any accidental purchases, they are not going to be removed from the end total. If I catch them in time, I can probably reset the day and, like, uh, just go through the day again if I have to, to avoid those accidental purchases, but I'm just going to do my best to not make any accidental purchases to begin with. All right. This is the big one. Plan on doing the Pam quest, too? The Pam quest. Is it like the one where she wants pale ale? I guess, I guess, I mean, I can. There's no reason not to if I get the uh, seed maker and stuff. Oh, gosh. Just seeing this screen hurts my soul. Copper Axe. It's got to be done. It's the only. It's our only path to the secret, secret woods. I'm not going to delay it. Copper Axe, he's gonna be, it'll be done in a few days. You don't love to see that. All right. I will go update my totals again here. So that's going to be... 8,025. I hate to see it go... I hate I hate when I have to make it up go up by, like, thousands at a time. That just is just absolutely the worst kind of pain imaginable. Alright, let's go ahead and just, like, copy this. And... Bada boom. Alright. It's been done. So shall it be said? So shall it be done? Purchase is complete for now. Are you going to buy the tomato and blueberry seeds you need as well? I actually purchased those previous stream. But uh, good job uh, good job thinking of that. Good job staying on top of that, because that's something I easily could have missed. For sure. Do I have any quests on hand here? Bring Sam an aquamarine. I think I have an aquamarine, don't I? <laughs> Lego Yoda death sound. You know, I've never played the game, but... It's ingrained in my brain from uh, from various memes I've seen. I'm not gonna say I'm a meme connoisseur, but I have I've you know I'm I'm not a meme amateur either. I might be an ancient 27 year old man, but uh, this 27 year old man knows a thing or two about uh, about uh, funny memes. All right. Get this planted, get some fertilizer on the go as well. I also want to finish this sap bundle if I can. Getting up to 500 sap is a... Uh, it's just kind of a monkey on my back right now, and I want to get that monkey out of here. Not that I don't like monkeys, but... Alright. Sort that out. So let's see if I have an aquamarine. I do. I haven't donated one to the museum yet, but I might as well bring it to Sam. Because this one, I'm, it's not like I'm going to not find another Aquamarine and there's no time limit on the museum, so... We're pretty good. Wise words to live life. Imagine not being a meme connoisseur, especially, yeah, in 2022. If you're not up to date on the most hot, fresh memes straight out, straight out of the TikTok oven... That's very hypocritical of me to say because I'm actually not on TikTok, like, whatsoever. But, oh, there's Sam right there. I figured he might be down here. That Thanks a million, Chloe. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Oh, hell yeah. It was I was really just in it for the money. I'm not even going to lie. Hope we're not having mushroom casserole tonight. What, you, you a hater? A hater of mushroom casserole? I mean, I'm not a huge fan of mushrooms myself. Not going to lie there, but... She finds crawdads in there. I love the word crawdad. 
Oh my gosh, that's not a word that gets used often enough, because, I mean, you don't have occasion to use it often enough. Here, I don't need this sweet pea. You've already given Jazz two gifts this week. It's because I adore her so much. Have you? How could you not give her? You should make an exception for Jazz, just because she's, she's so cute and deserves all the presents. I think you have a bunch of museum donations due. I think you are correct. And I need to... I definitely need to stay on top of that. Because museum donations are going to be quite the hill to overcome in this challenge. Are you in year two? Not yet. There's still a... This is still a year one original challenge. Ooh, little grape for Vincent, potentially. I have already completed the summer foraging bundle. I think. I did, yeah, okay. You do you, Linus. I'm not gonna stop you. Another periwinkle there. Don't mind if I do. That's actually another, uh, the snail. It's another loved gift for Vincent. Okay. Let's throw all this unnecessary stuff in here for now, including the hoe. Including the hoe. And let's see how deep we can get. We're already at floor 70. We're making pretty decent, um, pretty decent progress here. And today, with it, with today being a lucky day, I'm gonna hope for, uh, really great gains. Man, oh, that, that rattling sound when you hit the, uh, when you hit the skeleton with, a the special attack? It's like a little marimba or something. Sir, these skeletons are hardy, although I guess I'm- I guess using, like, what's effectively, like, a knife on a skeleton? Maybe not the best call. I feel like maybe I should switch back to my sword at some point here. Um, okay, this is not gonna go well. Hold on. This is- this is- this is very, very bad. I am super good at Stardew Combat, as you can tell. Just bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Keep that skeleton outside. Keep him, keep him flanking. He's, he's cornering me. He's cornering me. I gotta run. I gotta book for it. Book it. Okay. Okay. Get these two guys. Get him per nice and perched. And once it's a little more manageable now. Papyrus, you stay away from me, you weirdo. Okay. Oh, he was hiding the staircase the whole time. Should have known. He he looked like a staircase hider. Dwarf scroll four. Isn't that like a 0.5% chance? And combat boots. Don't mind if I do. Nice stylish sleek gray. Could try for hardwood in the crates. It's a slim chance, but it is uh, it is certainly doable. Uh, what do we got here? Th plus three defense, plus two defense, and immunity. I think I like this. I No one knows what immunity does. I'm sure there are people who know, but I don't. So I'm going to straw man it. Pretend that nobody knows. Why are you using a dagger? They're so bad. I put some faith in my friend Charlie Barley, who put who seems to like daggers when she she started using them. Maybe she just has better daggers than I do, though. <laughs> Cause this one's not doing it for me. I'll tell you that right now. Daggers only fun when you've got the iridium needle with the crit boosts. So you really got you really got it's one you got to spec into, huh? Ooh, but that when you get when you get those crits, that feels so good. See what I mean? It's just, mmm. Chef's kiss. Pickaxe is better than dagger. Are you sure about that? I mean, and then they both do the same exact damage. Okay. Uh, this bat is gonna get on my last nerve. I better be careful of my health as well. I only have salmon berries to eat, and they don't restore, like, the most health. Charlie Barley or whoever has terrible opinions then. Look, she's my she's my friend. <laughs> and friends are allowed to have bad opinions, but that doesn't that doesn't make them uh any lesser for it. We still we still stand Charlie Barley for sure. Your health. I, I'm I'm doing my best to keep an eye on my health because dying is a 
would be a very catastrophic turn for this challenge to take, because you do lose money when you die, and that does count towards our price of perfection, so we definitely need to avoid that at all costs. How fast is the recharge of the dagger special attack? Not fast enough. That's all I know. Yeah, you know, if it works for her, I mean, more power to her. But I am, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's not, it's not the most hipster choice in the world. But I might be a bigger fan of the sword. Uh, I don't really need this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna, probably not gonna regret that. Lots of extra copper. Never hurts to have that because we're gonna, we're never gonna be able to buy our own co our uh, copper from Clint. So the more we can stockpile for various uses in the future, the better. Can you even break radioactive ore with that? I certainly hope so. Although we are still in a sort of in limbo as to whether the steel pickaxe is going to be required or not. I'm starting to lean towards, I think I am going to get the steel pickaxe. Because some people have made some pretty compelling arguments in favor of, like, the uh, the whole golden walnut situation where you, like, bomb it and, like, it tills the ground underneath the rock that you'd ordinarily have to break. It's a whole big thing. You can go watch the previous VOD if you're not up to date on that lore. Um, people have made a good case for that being a, being a full-blown glitch. And I'm starting to side with that camp, so I'm thinking that the steel pickaxe might just might just be one that we have to eat. Might just be a cost. So nice being able to interact with streamers. I'm glad to uh, be of service to, for that, to that effect. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm not, not going to need these bone fragments anytime soon. You know what? Health. Clubs are overpowered due to a bug. It was so fun. <laughs> the popular concern date decides a feature now. He does that with a lot, a lot of things. There's like a lot of different little things that he's left in the game like that, that he's like, oh, it doesn't really hurt anyone, and people find it fun, so let's just leave it. And that's like, that's what makes Concerned Ape pretty goaded, in my mind. Okay, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna kill the last, these last few dust sprites, but it is getting late-ish. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and speed run these last few floors to floor 80 if I can. Please don't eat the steel pickaxe. I mean, it's not going to be me. It's going to be Chloe eating it, so you got to take that up with her. She might have an iron deficiency. She might need it. You don't know. You don't know her life. Actually, I guess you do. Her life consists exclusively of clips that have been shown in videos. You've been searching for that dwarf scroll four for so long. I know. I mean, I'm. I was. I know that. I know it is rare. And I was very stunned to see it, but and I don't. I, I can't appreciate it enough because I haven't. Uh, I haven't committed much time to a search. Ah, um, jeez. Screw the stone. Who needs this? Who needs stone? I'll, I'm sure I'll be regretting those words eventually. Poor Chloe has no privacy in her life. <laughs> Everyone knows everything about her life. I think she probably likes the spotlight. I mean, she's she's friends with uh, she's like best friends with Haley. So if they if they share any similarities, I think Haley, I think Haley would love to be the star of her own uh, Stardew TV Stardew Valley reality TV series. All right, I'm starting to see the writing on the wall. Floor 76, 10:30. I'm gonna call it. Might be, might be, might be uh, early, too early to call it. I could get a nice lucky streak of ladders, but it's not worth risking the pass out, in my opinion. Do I want to bring anything back with me? I mean, I wouldn't mind. I, mean, I don't need this periwinkle right now. I guess uh, we'll just leave it. Well, uh, I want the, I want to keep. I want my hoe back. Hold on. Uh, bat wings. That's fine. 
a 0.1% drop from all monsters? I thought it was 0.5. You're telling me it's five times rarer than I thought it was? That's a clickbait thumbnail if I ever heard one. The bats were merging. They were sw they were swarming me. I was not comfortable with it. Seeing lots of nice little spice berries around here. You should aim for all the scrolls before the dwarf's birthday for sure. I think I've gotten two of them. I don't know which two. Do I still have the one in here? No, I must have donated it. Okay, let's go ahead and put all this away. Uh, I can do this. Cool beans, cool beans. All right. Sorry, little dagger friend. I think I'm. I think I'm going to stick with the forest sword for now. This is level four, so I mean that's a little, maybe a little foolish on my part, but I think it's going to be for the best in the long run. Okay, it is getting late. I know, I know, Chloe. Good night, Timby. Level four combat. Look at that. Moving up in the world. Warrior ring. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Dozens. Just tuning in, I see. All right, it is raining. What fish are exclusive in the rain in the summer that I need? Um, the spirits are in very good humor. That's good to know, but I think I might, because of being a rainy day, there's our baked fish recipe. Got to hit the hit up the um, traveling cart today. Let me look. I might be able to jog my memory just by looking at some of these. Uh, is Red Snapper... A rainfish. A Karita. I mean, I look over in the chat, and the first thing I see is Red Snapper from Karita. Eel. Eel is already has already been uh, gotten right here. That was in, that was back in spring. But thank you for uh, thank you for being on top of that. Uh, sturgeon is not rain. I remember that. His octopus is not rain. It's just like it's just early morning. Yeah, that's what we were talking about before. Catfish is rain, but only in the spring, except in the secret woods, which I can't get to yet. Red snapper, catfish, shad. Where's the shad at? The river fish. Okay. Is the shad a specific time? Do I need to be concerned about that? Oh, thanks, Dad. Little 500 gold cast injection from Daddy Dearest. Little sashimi recipe, too. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead and sort this out. Um, I can. I should probably. I'm gonna see if I can grab some wood as well and make a. I don't know if I need a fishing chest yet because I don't know where I'm gonna fish. No, we'll make one just just to, just to have it. Excuse me. Don't strike down my crops. 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. Shad is until 7 p.m. 9 a.m. to 2, 9 to 2 says the wiki. Okay, so we'll start uh, fishing in the river around around 9 a.m. See if we can get ourselves a shad. See what uh, kind of magic we can make happen. Oh, hold on. We have uh, we have a radish to harvest here. To harvest, I should say. Every little bit of experience counts. Thank you for that uh, fee day. Fee day. All right. Let me go ahead and make this chest just to have it to hold in sickness and in health, for better or for worse, and all that. Oh, one piece of hardwood already. That's a good step in the right direction. Um, yeah. I th I'm feeling the fishing today. Let's go ahead. You know what? I'm going to grab a... Uh, no, I don't want the scythe. That's fine. It'll be fine. Check for supply crates on the way down to our traveling merchant friend. And see what's what. Catfish is also in fall. All spring fish available used using the fishing bundles are also available in other seasons. Okay. That is actually that's actually great intel. Thank you for that, Chaos Stripe. Fee like fee? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm always so like nervous whenever I see something that I don't know how to pronounce in chat, especially when it's like a person's name. It's like I really I don't want to offend you, but I just don't know. Just my naivete. Mm -mm, cat. You're tempting me with this cactus fruit, lady. Oh, 
because I'm going to need to get one of these exclusively from a garbage can at some point. There's the puffer fish. Sunflower seeds, not cheap enough. I remember this one specifically. We do need it from the traveling cart because that's the cheapest place to get it. But it needs to be 100 gold, not 300. Rare seed for 1,000. Yeah, so we're out of luck on the traveling cart there. Can you make a lightning rod? What, uh... Let me see. I don't think so yet. Where do you get the lightning rod recipe? What's what's? I, I'm pretty sure it's a skill. Is is it? Like I want to say combat, but that doesn't that doesn't sound right. It might be mining or something. It might even be like farming for all I remember. As an American, I purposely mispronounce people's names. Hey, as long as they're in on the joke, more power to you. Level six foraging, foraging. Okay. That makes a lot more sense than any of the three I said, <laughs> so that's fair. For some reason, it was sticking in my brain as, like, a combat thing, but maybe that's because it takes, like, bat wings to craft them. Unless that's also wrong, in which case, I'm just, uh, color me stupid. Quick garbage can, garbage can check. Or the 10,000 gold bundle, that's true. You do get one for free there. Uh, could someone bring me a purple mushroom? I'm not optimistic, Demetrius, but I'll try. Have fun with the stream. Thank you, uh, Christina. Thank you very much. You gotta go to sleep. Okay, yeah. Have a great night. Bye. Shoutouts to all the, to the, the late-nighters out there in chat, the 3am gangs, and even, like, the midnight gangs or whoever's out there. I knew bat wings were involved in lightning rods. Yes, the hundred thousand gold uh, house upgrade is indeed required. V sync, please. Ah. Uh... Where is V-Sync? I mean, it's, our, it's on, unless you wanted it off. I've had, I had a few comments to that effect on my, like, no-level challenge video. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was on, like, the entire time. Maybe it's just my computer is terrible. Oh. <laughs> the lightning scared me into reeling in my fishing rod. Oh. Just fishing things. Just fishing things. Imagine being in a time zone where it starts at 3 a.m. Yeah, imagine, imagine living in Europe. Imagine all the cool things that come with that. Oh, could not be me. <laughs> I'm envious of all my European friends, but I'm sure they're envious of me for various other reasons. It's all, it's all a matter of perspective, right? Hey, it's a pike. It's not required for the community center, but it is required to just catch in general. Chloe got spooked, yep. Welcome to the stream, Colton. Glad to have you around. Hold on, I'll... I think you had a question there, but I'm gonna... I'm a little focused, a little preoccupied. Grab that treasure real quick. You never know, it could be the... Could be the prismatic shard of our dreams. Oh, it's just... It's a single piece of bait? That's actually, like... I wish you hadn't given me anything. I wish that treasure chest had been empty. Not even, like, that I hadn't got the treasure chest, but I just opened it and there was nothing in it instead of a single piece of bait. That's a slap in the face. By the way, glad to hear that the stream is, uh, is looking good so far. I did, I did a lot of, uh, technical stuff behind the scenes in between the two streams. These past couple, in, in between this stream and the last, I should say. And I think I know what the main culprit of it was, of what was causing all the issues. Fingers crossed. It's a little too technical to get into right now, but uh, it should be solved. Mm -hmm. 
Do you know do you know someone called Liam? He says that you and him share an account on TikTok. I do not know of this Liam that you speak of. Nor have I ever interfaced with TikTok in any capacity. Well that's not true. Sometimes my friends send me like TikToks. Uh via like they literally I don't have a TikTok account, so they like literally just text them to me <laughs> if there's good ones. Uh, there's our Shad, by the way. That one's for the com that's one of them for the community center. There were no other rainy fish. Oh, there is the uh, the red snapper. Let's go try that. Fake Liam. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look more into that. I I, just, I don't know what uh, what that's about, but I ain't ever even seen a TikTok in all my years of living. Are you logged into TikTok? I've never, never visited TikTok, period. Other than those brief interstitial moments where my friends will text me one and I click on it and then I leave. But I don't have an account, so. If there's anyone on, on TikTok named Argon Matrix, they are a fraud. Hey, there's our red snapper. That was easy. <laughs> Having the mom while you're doing your expanded playthrough? Yeah, I'm glad that I make a, make good background noise for you, Patrick. I do a lot. Of, I do very similar things where I listen to to vods of some of my preferred streamers while I play the same games as them. It's just there's something soothing about it. It makes you feel like you're like playing with somebody, even if you're not. Have you played BTD six? No, but I think I know enough to that to know that that means Bloons Tower Defense six. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not played it. I I played like the my only. Uh, my only time that I really interfaced with the Bloons series was way back in, like, middle school, when I would play, like, Bloons Tower Defense 2, I think. Or it, I don't even think it was Tower Defense. It was, like, one of the puzzle games of Bloons. It might have just been, like, Bloons 2 on AddictingGames.com. Is that even still around, or is that, an, is that a relic of the past? All right, well, that's the, that's the fishing out of the way for now. Uh, we might be able to make a uh, run to floor 80 of the mines if we're lucky. You saw that I posted a video on TikTok about Haley x Chloe. Is this true? That does sound like me, but uh, these are slanderous statements, and I will not stand for them. I would love to see... I, I mean, I don't know the context of the Haley x Chloe TikToks, if such a thing exists, <laughs> which I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. If someone's been that inspired, then I guess more power to them. But I don't necessarily want to say I endorse them until I until I know what the heck is going on. Lost book, Pog, my everyone's favorite lost book. All right, let's go ahead and dunk this. This, grab our sword. I don't need this chest, so I'm gonna put this chest in a chest, if you don't mind. And we will navigate our way to the uh, mines. See if I can get to a little floor 80 action. Just thought about the name Mr. Matrix. That's pretty funny. That's true. That's true. No one's ever called me Mr. Matrix before. And I hope it doesn't catch on. Because it's, it's a little... I don't know. There's something a little intimidating about it. Oops. Why would you give this to me? You would think I just like jumped like this just because I live in a... Linus! I didn't mean it. Give it back, please. I actually want that for my crab pots. <laughs> oh, rip. That's a classic amateur Stardew Valley mistake right there. Isn't there like a treasure chest or something up here? It's like over here or something. I don't even know. Maybe you need the secret note in first in order to actually find it. The famous Neo Matrix and Trinity Matrix, yeah. I haven't seen the new Matrix movie yet. Contrary to what you might think by my name, I just haven't had the chance. Day reset! Nah, it's chill. We'll, we'll live with our mistakes for now. Hopefully Linus doesn't hate us too, too much. 
he's still he's still at three hearts. I mean, he's probably he's not he's not gonna think of us very fondly for like the next week or so, probably. But he'll get over it. All right, please, no more torrential downpours of bats. Yeah, this this feel this feels more my speed. This uh this sword, I'm not gonna lie. Might play around with daggers again in the future, but the one that I had was not doing it for me. If I can get my hands on an iridium needle or a galaxy stabby stabber, whatever it's called. New Matrix is okay. Yeah, I've heard pretty lukewarm receptions to it, but I'll, I'll probably love it. I'm very easy to please. Challenge is over. You lost a single piece of bait. I don't know. I don't. I'm. I only got to fill two of my three crab pots. How am I ever gonna live with myself knowing that they're that I'm not operating at peak efficiency? All right. Don't get me. Don't let me forget that Gus's birthday is tomorrow either. That is important to me. Not just for the friendship points, but because uh, Gus is a bro. Spears with extra reach would be cool. That would be kind of neat. If they had, like, a... Uh, if there are more weapon varieties in Sturdy Valley. The whole enchantment system adds an extra... A nice little extra wrinkle to it that I think was pretty well needed. But, I mean, Sturdy Valley's never been about the combat regardless, so... Did I do randomized chest rewards? I did not. I looked into it, just in case. If, in case there was any opportunity to save money there, but... As best I could tell, it's all just like uh, like weapons and armor that you can get from those remix chest rewards. It's definitely an avenue worth looking into at the very least, though. Nice little bop down here in the mines. I always love these mine songs. They're so easy to overlook because it's like they're just meant to be like sort of background ambient noise almost. But it is a it is a very good song. What is this one called? Is it Don't Tell Me? Is it is it uh Marimba of Frozen Bones? I got a single piece of bait in the chest and gave it to Linus. I didn't even think about that. Oh no. <laughs> I pawned off my my less than nothing treasure on poor Linus there. That he's man, I hope he didn't hear that. It's not buffering for me, but the quality has been more fit. I think fit is good. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what fit means in the context of this, but I'm hoping that it's all right. I did. I did. I did lower the bit rate the tiniest bit, just in case that's going to help. But um, quality has been a bit low for a while. Could be my internet. I don't know if it's if it if it, if it is low, then uh. If the quality is low for a significant portion of people, feel free to let me know, and I'll see what I can do about that. But otherwise, we're chilling. Best mind song is Cloth, in your opinion? Oh, I'd have to hear it. You're probably right, though. Is it? That's another uh, another one that plays on the frozen floors, isn't it? If so, those all all the songs that play on these frozen floors absolutely nailed it. I think hilariously enough, my like order of preferred like mine songs goes like or like categories of mine songs does follow the order of the mines themselves. Like the early floors, they got some good stuff going on, don't get me wrong, but they're not my favorite. Then it get then it gets a little more like a little more involved. I get my head bopping a little bit more as I uh, progress into these frozen floors, and then you get down to the uh, the deep dark magma floors, and you're like, oh man, I'm in for the long haul here. This is this is my jam. You want to just come down there just to, uh, just to vibe out. <laughs> Mr. Dozens, thank you for the $5 super chat. You saw the TikTok that I posted that Chloe is the secret mother of Yoba. Is this true? Uh, this, the, 
the rumors of Chloe's blasphemousness have been greatly exaggerated. And that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Thank you for the super chat, though. I greatly appreciate the support. Another Aquamarine, by the way. Don't mind if I do. Don't... I said... Jeez, Louise. Don't mind if I do. I have the Icicle song playing on your farm 24-7. I can't even be mad about that. Play Majora's Mask again? Oh, shoot. It's freaking midnight. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, jeez. Oh, jeezums. Quick check, quick check. This isn't- it's not happening. I'm- I'm running. I'm leaving. This is a big yikes. I don't want to pass out. <laughs> I really, really don't. Am I gonna make this? I think I'll be fine. I think I'm- I think I'm okay. I got so sidetracked by the music, it's... Eric! Eric Baroni, the music, you made it too good! You made it too good! It's I, I'm risking life and limb just to, just to, like, smooth my groove over here. I'll be fine, okay. We're good. We're good. Momentary heart attack aside, we're alright. Okay, um, just dump all this for now. We'll sort it out later. Grab that torch later. It's it's a it's a matter of life and death. Tim Beeb though. Okay. We are fine. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't given the bait to Linus. Karma is a uh karma's a beach. I didn't say I didn't say the bad word, I said beach, like the farm that I'm on. It's a PG thirteen stream. <laughs> Your copper axe is ready. That's what you love to see. Love to wake up to that. Misfortune, let's not go to the mine. Oh. There may have been a, br a brief stint of buffering there. For that, I apologize. Gus's birthday. Yes, yes, yes. I did remember. I just have to make sure I get uh, all this stuff watered out of the way here. If you are experiencing any form of lag, please do refresh. I believe the lag should be past this for the time being. As long as YouTube is uh, telling me some form of the truth. The Joja infiltrators of my internet service provider are hard at work. Keeping the stream down, as always. But we're going to power through it. We're fighting. We're fighting. Okay, um, I want a diamond for Gus. I might as well bring... Because I'm going to be heading down that way anyway. Bring some stuff for the museum. Should be all. Uh, bring this for steel pickaxe upgrade. The steel axe upgrade, not pickaxe. My bad. <clears throat> the periwinkles want hardwood. Yes, so we're we have we have to wait on that. That's why we're actually upgrading our axe for, for right now. And I think this is this is gonna hurt. This is gonna be our biggest cost yet. Maybe actually, I think it's gonna be about on par with the uh, fish pond five thousand. All right, all right. I'll make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I don't know what I would be forgetting. I do kind of want to fish actually today instead of uh, because I, I could try I could try and go for the octopus. Octopus is an early morning Marty. Where's my axe? Is currently with Clint. Just got upgraded to copper. I left my hoe back at the mines. That's fine. It's not, like, the end of the world. I might cry a little bit, but... YouTube. What... What is this... What is this nonsense? Okay, that was weird. It, it gave me a little warning, but then it was like... Did... I don't know. It's hard to explain. Let's not even worry about it. Not even tempt fate here. Okay. 7k all up on the axe. 7k all things told on the axe. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's a it's a tough tough p 
pill to swallow. Isn't it possible to get hardwood without upgrading the axe, or do you need to see? Yeah, you need to get the uh, need to get the secret woods for the star drop. That is the main uh, that is the main thing that we need to get into the secret woods for. It was not a bitrate warning. It was it literally said no data, and it says that sometimes, but this time it said it, but it was like still giving me full green bars, which is not normal. So. The octopus is the hardest catch in the game, even more so than the legend. But what if, though? What if? What if we? What if we just MVP'd it right now? You say that it's not tent fate, and then it's buffering. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't even tempt tempting fate. Today is Gus's birthday. Yes, that's why we have a diamond on hand. Actually, we should grab two diamonds because we can donate one to the museum. Good call. Can't you do the chair glitch? I am not allowing glitches or exploits in this challenge. You can read the rules and uh, the base, the rules and basics of the challenge in the document linked in the description below. It goes into all of the full detail there if you're curious. Chairs are illegal in this run. I mean, Chloe's welcome to sit in as many chairs as she wants, as long as she doesn't use them to uh, warp through reality. That's, re that's really where I draw the line. Is when you become, like, a literal, like, eel with, like, no bones. Just, and just slip through those gaps as, uh... Just, just by virtue of having this, like, little four-legged four stool. Yo, Gus. Yeah, I know a lot about... What if you just, like, stop talking in there? That's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes, I hear too much. Look at look at this man's face. Tell me he has not seen some nasty stuffs. Welcome to the stream, Blade. Yeah, the octopus. You made it look very easy. We'll see if we get quite as quite as lucky here. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, happy birthday, you weirdo. What does that do for us? Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Still, no one's no one's topping Haley yet. As uh, God intended. Are you going to be? A con are you going to continue being a Stardew Valley YouTuber after this challenge? I might take a break because it's going to be a very long challenge to begin with. I might do some other stuff, but um, I would love to do more. What? Did, how, who let me do this? I know you can move them, but like, <laughs> what kind of madman am I? Well, there we go. We'll just <laughs> I don't even know. You know what? You think you're, you think you'd think we're saving this spot for Dwarf Scroll Three? Get owned. It hurts me more than it hurts you. I promise. <laughs> oh no. Joja banned the chair glitch back in '87. Was that the banning of '87? Starfruit seeds. Okay, this is a, this is an important get. This is a very important get because this is the only starfruit seeds that we get. Unless I'm pretty sure you can get these from the Skull Cavern as well, but like the odds are not in our favor for that. So we gotta hold on to this for dear life. We'll grow it, save it for our seed maker. How deep do the mines go? 120 floors. Next question. Scarecrows. You love them. You hate them. You hate to love them. You love to hate them. Secret of the Star Drop. Boring. Journey the Prairie King, been there, done that. Study on diamond yields. Uh, I got five, so come talk to me when you've done that. Very rare from the Skull Caverns, that's what I thought. You put stuff in the correct place for the bundles and then you root. You put stuff in the place for the correct bundles and then you ruin it, I know. I'm, ve I'm very particular about the way I put things in the bundles. And then I just go and do that at the museum. There's our copper axe. It had to be done eventually. As does this. We're a hundred percent sure that you need a steel axe to get into the secret woods, right? A copper axe just will not do, even if it's enchanted. I'm... I, I, I'm like... 
99% sure. But enchanted might change. You don't need steel. Enchants, though. Yes, 100. I know Blade's in here. He's probably... He probably knows this offhand. I'm so positive that it's, that you need the steel the steel axe every way to Tuesday. Not sure with enchants. Copper won't work. Is it worth like going to test it? Never tested the axe, but it did test the copper enchanted powerful pick, and it didn't break the giant boulder. If this is wrong, if there's if there if if there is like an enchanted copper axe that can get into the lost woods, I'm willing to take the L because all evidence points to that not being the case. If it is the case, I will have my mind blown and I'll start the whole challenge over. But. <laughs> All right, let me go update our totals. Edit. Oh, this is going to hurt. 8,025 to 13,025. Made it to that five digits. Ouch. Mama. All right. Axe upgrade steel. Save that. 7,060 gold just this stream. Yeah, it's I'm, that's more than we had when we started. Oh, no. I mean, obviously, the axe upgrade is going to be a huge expense, no matter what uh, No matter what we did there. Money go burr. Mark my words. If I get to the... If I, if I find out by some, by some way, one way or the other, that the uh, copper axe enchanted can break that log... I'll restart. <laughs> I will. Even if I'm 99% of the way to perfection, I'll, uh... <laughs> I, uh... I mean, I don't... Don't make promises you know you can't keep, right? Might be a big yikes. Alright. Let's take a crack at this. Let's see what we... See what's that. What is love? I know you want me to say the thing. You want me to say the part where it goes, baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more, but it's a it's an old and tired uh tired trope. Little bubbles. Oh, I fished too far for my own good. How does it get enchanted? Uh you have to go to the top of the volcano. Maybe this will dampen the hit to Chloe's wallet. Thank you very much, ne Nemesis Griff, for the uh, $10 super chat there. Huge, hugely appreciated. I was so preoccupied by it that I missed the that I missed the rest of those bubbles. Brief Joja influence in the in the internet tubes and the fiber optic fiber optic cables. Hopefully, it's just a small bump in the road. The infiltration of Morris knows no bounds. When you when will you get channel memberships? Uh, that's I don't know honestly. I'm kind of like. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way, Wallagug. I hope you had a good time on your uh, your Iron Man stream. I will go and I'll have to go check out the VOD after this. Because I am invested in that challenge. But, um, as for channel memberships, I've, I'm kind of, like, fighting my imposter syndrome. Is that the right word? Where it's like, I don't deserve it. <laughs> Which I know, I know everyone in chat, or there's going to be a, a large subset of chat anyway that says like, "Oh no, like I'd support you. It's it's cool. It's like I, I realize like ch channel memberships is like 
is a good thing to have, and it is, and I don't begrudge anyone who has sub chamber memberships, and it's only my stu own stupid, selfish, like, uh, ego, or set weird, convoluted sense of pride that stopped me from doing it. But, um, they will come. They will come in time. I want, I want to make sure that I have something for channel members that's, like, worthwhile, you know? That's worth them spending that extra little bit of money for them to have uh, something good. We want cool emotes. See, that's my problem. <laughs> I ain't got no emotes. I ain't got no artistic ability either. Of course, I'm, I, I imagine a lot of streamers don't, and they actually just, like, commission the emotes, which is probably the right I'm going to end up taking, but... <laughs> For now, I'm just happy to I'm just happy to be living my best life out here, fishing for eels. Might be a little too late for eels. Is it is it only until 2 p.m. that eels are? Not eels, uh octopi. If so, then we're probably out of luck here. Tim BB mote? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it just as much as you. We'll we'll cross that bridge soon enough. It's it's all part of the process. All part of the growing pains. 1 p.m. You tell me I've been wasting my time here. Octopus spawns until 1 p.m. All right, fair enough. What the heck? Ahoy. Yeah, hello, buddy. Ahoy, you matey, you bilge-sucking brine swather. That's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. I don't know why Chloe's window shopping. I guess, like, next best thing, right? Make sure to wash your hands after you're dipping in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks. What do you have in there? Like, <laughs> scotch? <laughs> so you've been catching a lot of, a lot of fish? I guess you could say that. It's too difficult. Got him. Lady after me own heart. Don't make it weird, please. I have a thing going with Haley. You wouldn't understand. You can always count on a lady who fishes. That's what me old pappy used to say, at least. Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I got a special prize waiting for ye. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that is kind of one of the things, one of the main reasons for this. What's wrong? Uh, yeah, what's wrong, buddy? Business has been tough lately. It's because I'm your only customer, and, uh, I don't buy anything. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. You fish just don't, like, don't, just don't sell the way they used to. This poor guy. I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm not gonna buy anything from you, but... This sounds very, uh, very ominous. Even though I know, I know he's talking about the boat. We're talking. I'm assuming he's talking about the boat to Ginger Island. But uh, Willie might be a secret serial killer. Confirmed. Someday, Miss, you'll see what I mean. I'll show you my back room one of these days. Just you wait. Yikes, Willie. Really, that's a big yikes. I just wanted to come in here to sell these. I'm gonna be real with you. Did we already already get the crimson fish? No, but uh, no time like the present, right? Oh, that's really sweet. He wants to be just like Sam when he grows up. All right, bye. <laughs> Don't have my hoe. That's uh, upsetting. Sailors are allowed to be kind of sketchy. They they got some uh, sus bones in their body, for sure. More so than uh, than the average. Every man, I should say, I would say. Quick, quick, quick! Crimson fish catch, no big deal. Willie found the entrance to the back rooms. Oh no! The mind meld and a half waiting, waiting to happen. That was a good, perfect catch. Good, perfect tuna, even. My goodness. 
Creatrix, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Portal in time says you can break a big, big log. You can break big logs with an enchanted <laughs> copper axe. If you tweet me a uh, a video, or or I don't know, I don't know how. Like if if you're able to take a video of that or have some sort of proof of that, then that would be phenomenal. Thank you for the support, by the way. It's it is greatly appreciated. Or if the, you can get that information to me some way that is definitively conclusive. That would be... I would be very interested in seeing that. Because that could be a game changer. Because I could still reset this day, in theory, in order to go back on the cost that I spent on that axe. Looks like we got we got some Stardew sleuths on the case right now. So, Godspeed, friends. Godspeed. You need a ton of hardwood just to get to the island. That's true. That's true. But there are other ways to get hardwood. But we don't need the axe. It will be a pain. I speak from experience. It would be a large pain to get an, a, ma a massive amount of hardwood without being able to use an axe to chop stumps. In theory, that would be a very, very difficult thing to do. Not that anyone would ever be silly enough to do that. Unless someone was going for, I don't know, some sort of, uh... Some sort of minimum level, minimum experience game where chopping those woods is not an option. And, uh, you have to... Plow your way through the mines, looking for barrels and crates and such things. But no one would be that silly. Excuse me. Oh, I'm starting to feel exhausted. I gotta be careful of that. <laughs> Open Stardew intensely. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is a crimson fish alert. This is not a drill. This is not a drill! This is not... This is our best chance so far. Oh, it's not gonna. It's not working. It's not working out. He's 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 a feisty one. He's a feist. Oh, wait. Shoot. Shoot. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. It only takes what eight energy. Set seven. <laughs> We're fine. We're chilling. Hardwood from normal trees with level from with level ten foraging. That's true. That is accurate. You probably set up a mahogany grove to farm it. In theory, that should work, yeah. Yeah, we need to be careful that we know that this copper axe with an enchantment idea works on the log specific, specifically the one that's blocking the secret woods. Because that is a particular type of log. Different from other ones that you may be concerned with. The day that the crimson fish got away, it's not today. I'll tell you that. There's no reason that I should be catching the crimson fish right now. Except for bragging rights, so that's all the reason I need, quite frankly. Bada boom. Little halibut, don't mind if I do, just for the halibut. Ah, uh... All this seaweed, that's so much energy. I'll like eat this coral for now. Never mind, it went the wrong way. Sent a tweet of the copper axe. Alright, let me look at this. Let me hold on while I while I check this out. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly pop over I'll, I'll send you guys over to the saloon really quick get your drink get your uh food and beverage orders ready for gus and emily while i check out this uh tweet that has been sent my way of this potential new game game changing strategy i will be right back folks
All right, everyone. I am back. I have I have uh, taken a quick drink. I have visited the Twitter and seen a tweet from one portal in time in chat that seems to indicate, unless I'm totally missing something, that a copper axe with a powerful enchantment can break the log leading to the secret woods. Actually, it doesn't even need to be a copper axe. A regular axe with powerful can do it too. Oh, don't tell me that. Uh-oh. We might have done goofed. We might have done goofed, folks. Because we already got our copper axe. That's, that's something we can't go back on. Full reset day one. <laughs> I mean... Hmm. Huh. If that is the case... Yes, I can, I can complete the community center without going to... Yeah. No, I sh there should be nothing stopping me from getting to the part... There should be nothing stopping me from getting to where you get the enchantments for, um, without using the copper axe, or without using an a upgraded axe. That throws everything out the window. <laughs> We've gone so far here for him to literally go new phone, who dis? You know what, I think... If that if it's true that you can just do it with a regular, non-upgraded axe... ...with a powerful enchantment... I'm- I'm just- I'm willing to take that L. At the- at the, uh, at the- in the service of the stream and all the people watching and... I don't want to- I don't want to restart the whole thing. Portal in Time says that the regular axe can do it. I, tr I mean, I trust you, because I mean, you're the one who sent me the original tweet in the first place. It is, it is relatively early in the challenge. But you know what? We're bound to... I was... I was... I was relatively, like, sure... I was under no delusions that I would necessarily be able to do this perfectly first try. I think it's I think this is more about the journey than it is about actually doing it completely flawlessly. With the fact that we might be able to save uh, even more than just the axe, right? So I think what I am going to do is buffer. <laughs> the stream an attempt to after the series is over. Yikes. That's, ugh. I think one of these is going to be more than enough, but <laughs> we'll see. I think the smart thing to do is reset the day. That's been done. There's no going back on that. It's in the rules. I'm allowed to I'm allowed to do this. Your copper axe is ready. So that'll save us. I can go back and get rid of the cost of the steel axe. So let's just quickly all go do 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 going back in time, going back in time, do one of those little time machine whirly gigs. Drop this price by 5,000. Gonna go ahead and uh, delete this bad boy off the checklist. Powerful level zero bit pick cannot break big rocks. Yeah, Blade actually tested that one specifically, so I knew that part already. We assumed it was the same with the axe. That was an unfair assumption on my part. Don't forget Gus's birthday. Good call, good call. Now only 2060 for the stream. 
Yeah. I think I think this is a uh, yeah. No matter what the enchant, we still need a big pick, a, a steel pick for the big rock. Yeah. So to catch everyone up, we are resetting the day because we found out the steel axe is not up, not uh, required specifically because you can use an enchanted axe in order to get into the secret woods, which we need to do for a star drop. Uh, we've already upgraded our axe to copper. That is an act that cannot be undone. But. It is what it is, and we're just going to live with our mistakes. I think that's an important lesson to learn. I should I should have thought of the whole enchantment thing sooner than in the middle of this stream. <laughs> is, is all I'm going to say. That's that's on me. That's a hundred percent on me. It's all part of the journey. It's all part of the growing process. Chloe is unfortunately not going to be the most frugal farmer she could be, but gosh darn it, that's going to compel her. That that little blow right there is going to compel us to uh, to shoot for the stars, right? Yeah, she's she's not she's she's vibing. She's cool with it. All right, let's get things sorted again here. Go ahead and drop this, drop these, grab our grab that. I will. Man, deja vu anyone? Is it just me or just me or is, is this some sort of weird deja vu going on? Ooh, how strange. I mean, yeah, now at least that we have the copper axe, we can get some car hardwood from the stumps on the, our uh, farm. That at the very least is true. We might as well use it if we have it. Chloe's wallet is weeping. Oh, the pain. It's The pain is real. Okay. Um, grab a second diamond for Gus. We're good to go. I am going to make my way around this way instead, just to... I saw that sea urchin down there. don't think I didn't. I'll be back for it. Welcome to the stream, Kale Chips. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well as well. How many times can one person say well? All right, water under the bridge. We're not, we're not going to sweat that too much. That's a cost... It's it's gonna it's gonna nick nick away. That's not that's not a pr real expression. It's gonna eat away at my uh, my perfectionist side, my perfectionist brain. But it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta learn to live with those mistakes. Just the way of the road. Do you know how expensive that axe was? She could have saved the whole dollar. Chloe's favorite things are savings and occasionally self-care. That's that's the slogan of the stream right there. We care about saving money, but also your mental health is pretty important too, sometimes. So, <laughs> you know what? And production value. Production value of the stream of not wanting to restart the entire thing just off the back of one silly little blunder like that is totally, totally fair, I think. And when I make the final video, I'll be able to tie it into the narrative in a nice, fun little way, I'm sure. Ew. <laughs> That's the game insult. That's the game giving me some comeuppance right there. It's like, you should have done more research. Here's a stone for your troubles, idiot. Gosh, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. All right. Quick little donation of spree. I'll do it again. Watch me. get our, uh, I'm guessing this is going to be a starfruit seed? Oh, what do you know? Ooh, who could have guessed that? What a weird coincidence. Read all these just because I can't stand to see the little floating book icons. All right, and we're pretty well caught up to all, like, the, the real stuff we did on the day, on the lost day. Except to actually, hold on, need to grab the actual copper axe. It's probably an important step, too. The cursed copper axe. This is this is our symbol. This is a symbol of our our humility. This let this copper axe live on in everyone's memory. That's that's gonna when I do finally get channel memberships, copper axe emote. That's gonna be that's gonna be a sign of uh hey remember to take care of yourself first before anyone else. Make make sure make sure to check in with yourself. 
don't get me wrong, I have a lot of patience. If I was recording this instead of streaming it, I probably would reset upon finding this information out. But that's kind of that's kind of a false uh, dichotomy, right? Because if I was recording this, I likely would never have known that the enchantments thing worked until uh, until I posted the video. So it's uh, it's, it's entirely possible that I might have made the mistake even worse. The self care axe. You got it just right, Kellifer. <laughs> what a symbol for self care. We care about uh, love and wholesomeness and well-being on this stream, as symbolized by this sharp implement of destruction. I guess an axe doesn't have to be an implement of destruction, it's just a matter of how you use it, right? The wood skip can be found at the traveling cart. Do I need the wood skip? for the community center. I don't think I do because I don't, I think I have a different bundle. I'll check in a second. Cause that would add yet another wrinkle. All right, river fish, no. Master fishers, no. Ocean fish, no. Lake fish, no. Night fish, no. We're good. We're good. We don't. We don't have the. There is. There is a bundle that does require the wood skip, but we don't have it. I think we got master fishers instead of. Uh, I think it's probably specialty fish is the one that requires it. That sounds right. I do need to get that star drop. That's true, but. Now that we know that we can get our axe enchanted and get into the secret woods that way, it's um It's still that's still entirely gettable. The only reason I was concerned about the wood skip is because obviously if we need it for the community center, we wouldn't be able to enchant our axe. Um wouldn't be able to enchant our axe. I'm so dumb. <laughs> wouldn't be able to enchant it before completing the community center, is what I was trying to say. What I eventually managed to bumble out. On the bright side, you get a second chance at the crimson fish. What do you mean? It's gonna be my first chance of the day. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. It is a weird sense of deja vu today, but uh, this is the only time we played through this day. Surely, no one's gonna tell anyone, right? Nobody needs to know. Our little secret, chat. Our little secret. How much does it cost to enchant? I believe it's like a prismatic shard and some like cinder shards and stuff. It doesn't actually cost any gold. The fiddlehead fern? I don't think I need the fiddlehead fern for uh, for anything. I'm pretty certain. No. It, I think it might have been required for something else. Fish tank, no. Boiler room is not going to be. Um, we're good. We should be able to get the, get through the community center. Chef's Bundle, yeah. Chef's Bundle was one that we, uh... We nixed in the seed hunting search, Blade and I. Anyway? Because, uh... Now the Fiddlehead Fern, I guess, is, is one thing that's that's not gettable without uh, paying it for... Ugh, without buying it at the Traveling Cart. But there's also a Truffle a truffle in that one that you can't get, so... That was the main consternation with that bundle in the first place, so it's not a big deal. Need a fiddlehead fern for risotto? Yeah, but we can still we can still get into the secret woods. The risotto the risotto is a requirement for perfection because we obviously need to cook it. But um, we can still get into the secret woods and get that. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be a problem once we get our enchanted copper axe.
We'll be able to get the Fiddlehead Firm. We just aren't able to get it until we finish the Community Center. I think we're about to have another moment of deja vu. Oh, jeez, man. So many weird little... It's like I had a dream like this not that long ago. You can also get Fiddlehead Fern from the Dino Layers in the Skull Caverns. That's true. We can't do that for before you finish the Community Center, but as uh, stated, we don't need to, so... I could probably just skip this, but I, I want to click through the same options just to be sure. Just to be sure that I'm doing it all in a reasonable way, in the right way, in the same way that I did it previously. Requirements for the community center and requirements for perfections are completely different beasts. That is very true, Karita. If you're doing the community center exclusively with the uh, like minimum costs, it's a uh, it is an entirely well not entirely there are, there are a lot of differences a lot of little subtle differences to doing perfection entirely. Check in there with Willie real quick. Show him our little axe. Take care of yourself, Willie. Take care of yourself. Do you still need the copper axe? No, but there's no way to go back on it. We did it three days ago. That's uh, beyond my power to, to repair. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Clint should do refunds, TBH. Concern date. Concern date. Put in a hot fix right now so that we can get a refund on our copper axe. I don't want it. Clint, shave that copper. I know I gave you five copper bars. You got to shave it all off that axe head. And give me my money back, too. I'm not going to pay you for that work. You're going to pay me. Time to entirely restart. That's that's one option I could take, but I'm going to choose the uh, what I feel is the lesser of two evils. Welcome back, Seven. We don't need the Copper Axe because we discovered that the um, Basic Axe with the enchantment... I'm only going to... This is the last time I'm going to explain this just because we've, we've been over this a number of times. But uh, if anyone else comes into chat and needs to explain, then go for it. But um, we found out that the Basic Axe with a powerful enchantment can get us into the Secret Woods as well. You do need to be married for perfection, that's true. Because you need to get the star drop from your spouse. But thankfully, I mean, you technically don't need to be married married, because, I mean, it, it, it depends on your perspectives on Krobus, right? I should, like, probably empty my inventory a little bit here. Uh, yeah. The clay's not, I'm not that concerned about it. Come on, Crimson Fish, baby. If there's one thing I can do to redeem myself now, it's catching the Crimson Fish today. No worries, Seven. No worries. I know not everyone's here for the streams. This is just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try better not to repeat myself too much on these facts because uh, it's, it's, it'll make it very repetitive for people who have been here for the entire stream and know these answers already. If I just keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Like, you know, by the way, the beach farm, we we picked the beach farm because, uh, because we need wheat flour and sugar and supply crates, you know, it's a uh, good question, good question. <laughs> I'm just chid. I'm just teasing. Yeah, the cask recipe, that, that's the only reason you actually need the full farmhouse upgrade, is the cask recipe. Which is such a pain in the butt. Like, can't we just slide Robin a little bit of money on the side to, uh, to let her have that, let us have that recipe? Like, Robin, show me how to make a cask. Don't make me pay you a hundred thousand gold for, like, a crafting recipe. 
It's highway robbery. It really is. Actually, I could have. Actually, I couldn't have gone to sell that to Willie. He's just closed. But... Why don't you set up an FAQ for stuff like that? I actually do have an FAQ comment that I post on the vods of uh of every video, or that I post in the comments of every vod, I should say. But I can't post it on the. I guess I could post it in like the stream chat, right? And like pin it at the top or something. That might be a way to go. I think Wallago was actually telling me to do something similar in like my very first stream and I just forgot about it. Oof. Quick shout out to the lurkers in chat, by the way. If anyone's lurking out there, you can type a little 7 for me in chat. Just press hit 7 and press enter on your keyboard. I always say lurkers are the backbones of streams. We 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 appreciate lurkers in this house. I am a lurker most of the time in streams, so uh shout outs to all of you. Look at them. Look at them in there. Look at them. They come oh, they come out in droves. <laughs> when you when you call them to action, man. Oh, there's so many. Inspired Caterpie, Kyan, uh Villa Luna, Ocean Goblin, Old and Still Here, ever everyone else. Kuro Okami, I see you. Look at that. Oh, there's, there's the pure cavalcade of sevens. <laughs> the army. We are lurkers. We are legion. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching the stream. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good time despite the... Uh, <laughs> despite the strange turn things have taken. Due to these recent discoveries. I just want one shot of the crimson fish, man. Is that too much to ask? Lurkers could overtake us all. Lurker is it's there's like a lurker ratio of like ten to one. That's actually wild. But I think that's probably that's probably like accurate to like most streams, if I had to guess. But huge shout out to the active chatters as well. Not to diminish your uh your contributions to the stream, obviously. Dang man. I really do need to get a, a chest out here, huh? <laughs> Screw this. Nobody cares about warp totems. Did I give the sapphire to Sam? I think that was yesterday? I'll check in a second. You're not a lurker, you just wanted to fit in? I see you, Kuro Okami. <laughs> The peer pressure was is too real. The sevens are still going strong. I know, I'm surprised. Uh eat this flounder real quick. Just keep just to I just I just I just wanna peek, man. The crimson fish is now shunning me though. Due to my nefar it saw it knows that I reset the day. It's like sands, man. Sands are flowy. It's like, I know what you did. I mean, those little little side eyes, the eyebrows, you know, that flowy gives. That's the crimson fish right now. He knows I'm going to catch him and make him instantly into sashimi. Do you care about warp totems? They are kind of cute. I should, I should, that's, they've got that going in their favor, but I've so, I very rarely use warp totems, I'm not even going to lie. Even when I've got no restrictions going. Does the Crimson Fish have a time requirement? I thought you could catch it, I thought, I thought there was a chance to catch it any time in the summer. Any time of day. But I'm starting to doubt that. Crimson Fish is scared of the self-care. He's a, he's a, he's afraid to confront his own demons and join Chloe in the in the light. Literally in the light. No weather required any time in summer. That's what I thought. All right, we'll keep we'll keep her riding for now.
Ooh, iridium quality. Uh, that's fine. I don't know which one was worth more, but... None of the legendary fish have time requirements, I'm pretty sure. I think you're right on that. I think I remember that. The only restriction on the legendary fish is your fishing level, the location, obviously, and for the legend, it has to be raining. But I think that's all. You got distracted by your own game? That's cool. That's uh, all right, Austinique. Thank you for the fan art, by the way. I showed that off at the start of the stream. Huge props to you. Show me that little crown on the fish. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. I'll take a super cucumber, too. Don't think I won't. I definitely did, Asanik. Thank you. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream so far. I know fishing is not necessarily the most enthralling thing to be watching, but when we get that crimson fish to bite, oh, this is probably going to be our last cast. I, actually, I think I need to run back to the farm after this. Well, <laughs> I'm a man of my word. You can't say I'm not. We'll be back. We'll be back for that crimson fish one of these days. All right. Did I... What have I... Still need because I need to bring. I'm not going to bring anything to the community center tonight. Probably I need to save this tuna. Uh, we need a tilapia. Tilapia can be caught in summer. I think. I think I might have already caught one and like I just like <laughs> was like I just whiffed on it. Everyone blamed the periwinkles. Periwinkles secretly agents of darkness. Okay, let's just go. Enough dilly dallying. Just notice the street lamp on the dock down there. It's a nice, cozy little street lamp. Closest thing we got to a lighthouse in Pelican Town, I suppose. Do you enjoy streaming? I'd say so. There's, I mean, there's definitely... If I, if I have to be completely honest with you guys, I really love the aspect of chat and being able to interact with uh, you guys on stream. That's a lot of fun. Um... Obviously, I love, like, the whole community aspect. I love being able you know, to involve you guys in the challenge and everything. But for on a personal level, I do think I enjoy the process of just recording more. Because I can kind of do things at my own pace a lot of the time. I'm not as, like, pressured to, uh, to be constantly on, you know? To be constantly, like... Try, try, trying to come up with things to say, obviously, because it's not always the easiest thing in the world. I do the best that I can, don't get me wrong. And I do love streaming, but... There's something really nice about the chill aspect of recording and editing a video, and it's, just, it's really nice. That's why I'm, try, I'm trying to blend, uh, to blend the styles right now, where I do these streams, and then... I st I'm still working on edited content in the background, but... It is, uh... It is something to get used to, for sure. Please don't be completely honest with me. I'm not ready for that level of commitment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought we were close. I thought we had a good enough rapport. Okay, I, I need to focus here to make sure I don't like pass out in front of my own house. Um, put this away. Put that away. This dreaded copper axe, man. We're gonna put it to good use. Just you wait. Just you wait. In fact, I might go chopping some wood tomorrow. We'll even hold on to it. Uh, hold on to that, too. Might as well. Finally caught a stream. Welcome, Lexa. Glad you were able to join us. Alright. Off to bed. More time to ruminate on the content for the quality. I get it. Yeah, that's that's kind of the main thing. Is that I like to... Uh, I'm a very sort of perfectionist-minded person. I like things to go a specific way a lot of the time. And it's harder to do that with streams than it is with um, than it is with edited content where I can do it at my own pace. Spirits are very happy. That's good to know. 
Very, very good to know. What's your 2023 sub goal? Uh, I honestly haven't put any thought into it. I'm, I'm just kind of like riding this wave, seeing where it takes me. Not going to concern myself too much with the analytics for now. Thank you for the question, though. All right. These coffee beans are looking pretty good, I'll tell you that much at least. Tim, Be Tim Beef's checking the mail. Do you see that guy? What a silly little dog. He just he's he's, he's pointing at our important things chest too. What is it, Timby? What's in there that you want? He smells that goat milk, dude. He's hungering for it. Maybe later, Timby. Maybe maybe later. If Timby wants it, Timby gets it. I definitely I'm definitely one who likes to spoil my pets a lot of the time. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab. I think I'm actually gonna spend some time today sorting out my farm. Or like chopping trees and stuff on my farm. Doing that. I would really like to get this uh this 500 sack requirement done and dusted. You can also do this now, that's nice. Let's get let's get the, let's see if we can get this five hardwood for these periwinkles here too. That seems like a it seems like a good time to do that. Now that we've got our copper axe in hand. Let's just let's just get it out of the way, man. Oh here we go. This is this is this is what you like to see. Tim Beeb needs milk. He's very cat-like in some ways. The other thing about streaming a lot of the time is that I'm very nervous when it comes to the technical side of things, very paranoid about that sort of stuff. So it can be a little uh, overwhelming when things aren't going all that well as has been the case with a lot of these early streams that I'm trying to resolve, but... There you go. Thank you! Hardwood will keep us healthy and hearty. Man. <laughs> these periwinkles are kind of freaking me out. They're just like so... Look at them just like... wavering... there. Ominously. <laughs> He's growing a forest spirit. I mean puppy. He's a growing forest spirit. <laughs> Goat milk is good for dogs? You could have fooled me with that. That seems like one of those things that you, like, wouldn't... I don't know. There's a lot of things that you're not supposed to give dogs, but people give them to the dogs anyway, and the dogs are usually pretty chill, but it's, like, probably not the best idea regardless. Copper Axe does have its benefits, man. Even in addition to just, like, being able to get the hardwood. It's like just being able to chop those trees that littlest bit faster, it's gonna... It's gonna come back to help us, for sure. Do you plan on making coffee this run? I will have to make coffee at some point. And coffee is definitely our, uh, go-to... go-to crop for the time being. For, like, experience games, sad as it is to say. Just because it's, like, one of the most, uh... It's, it's like one of the only like reliable seeds we can get without buying stuff, so we just kind of have to go for it. Yes, the dog, the dog, and the Junimos were both called Tim Beeves. That might be a little folly on my part, but uh, I'm sticking to it. Grapes are bad for dogs. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I tried to I tried to mute myself before that happened. I was so allergic to the idea of grapes being bad for dogs when I fed my dog grapes and he just, like, swallowed them whole. That's probably why they're bad for dogs, huh? Pardon me. Oh my goodness. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Almost out of energy already. We got the salmon berries, though. We're, we're chilling. Thank you very much for the bless yous in chat. <laughs> oh, heavens. Alright. 
Um, just gonna eat. Eat some salmon berries. Chocolate is bad for dogs. That I know. Oh my gosh, there were so there were a couple times where we had to uh, had to our dog got into some chocolate by mistake. Like I remember specifically, there was one Easter where my mom got me and my sister those like big old chocolate bunnies, right? So we can't break these, right, with our copper? Yeah, okay. Not yet, anyway. She got uh, these big old chocolate bunnies. And before she could give them to us on Easter, um, our dog managed to find them. And he just went to town on those things. So, like, when... And then my mom found out and just like, Oh, no! We gotta... Can cancel Easter! Cancel Easter! We gotta take our dog, like, uh, like to the emergency, like veterinarian, but we didn't actually do that. Basically what we did, because we found him, like, in the process of eating the chocolate, so we were like, okay, if we can get him to, like, throw up, right, then that's uh, probably best case scenario. And our dog had a fam famous uh, habit of getting car sick, so we just, like, took him in the car, set him in the back seat, and waited for, waited for nature to, <laughs> to work its magic, I suppose. And you know what? He lived quite a bit longer after that, so. Grapes, raisins. Kinetic sand? Who's feeding their dog kinetic sand? No, I guess that's one of those things where the dog would just get into it on its own. I don't know what would compel a dog to eat sand, though. Dogs are mysterious creatures in that way. They'll eat just about anything. One time my whole dog ate a whole box of thin mints, but she was fine. That's the thing. I think I think the uh the risk of chocolate to dogs is slightly over exaggerated, but it's probably for a good reason, because there is the chance that they it could just like kill them, probably. So it's like best to best to never let like let never let uh, your dog even have the chance. But if it does happen by mistake, there's a pretty decent likelihood that it's not going to be the end of the world for them. But again, I'm no veterinarian. I'm no... I didn't go to school for any of this kind of stuff, so... This is all anecdotal. Do not take my word for that. Don't feed your dogs chocolate, folks. If there's anything to take away from this discussion, that's it. I'm really doing my best to hammer out this uh, this sticky bundle right now. I, if, in case you couldn't tell, that's kind that's kind of the main uh, crux of what I want to do today. I think I think that'd be a good goal to get out of the way because we're so close with our with our sap already. Might as well just finish it off. The only time you've been to the hospital is when you ate a bunch of sand as a toddler. Kids will do stupid things, dude. I ate a I ate a, like a venomous spider when I was like two years old. So I guess I'm very lucky to even be here to be able to tell you that story. There's not much more to the story. It's like, I was just like sitting in the backyard. This is all, I don't remember this because I was two. But this is how it's always told to me is I was just sitting in the backyard. And I guess I like found a spider and it was just like, oh, this looks like something that should go in my mouth. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know what happened between there and the hospital, but I guess I got they got it fast enough that it was it was all good. Very spooky though for my parents, I'm sure. Nearly there with this uh this sap grind. Not everything venomous is poisonous. That's true. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what the spider was necessarily. I know my region, my neck of the woods does, uh, like, black widows are native here, but I'm pretty sure I didn't eat a black widow. Or else I would literally have, like, died on the spot, probably. <laughs> I could be wrong about that, but... Was it crunchy, though? Probably. It was pro actually, it was probably more juicy than crunchy, if I had to imagine. I've never replicated the experiment, so, uh... I don't know for sure. The 
the spider was a periwinkle in disguise. They've been haunting me all this time, all these years. And no one told me? Alright, that's our sap bundle done. Now we're free to use our sap for other means. Go ahead and dump all this wood. Uh, might as well make some field snacks, too. Yum, 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 yum. All right. It's always the pine cones. I try to go to, I tried to even go out of my way to get more pine cones when I was chopping the trees just now, but still, it's always the one I'm short on. By a significant margin, too, actually. What else do I need to think about here? Spider version of a fruit gusher? Ew. <laughs> That puts a horrible, just like, sensory perception in my mind. Or in my mouth, I should say. Um, I don't need my axe for anything. I don't know why I'm, going, why I'm leaving with the axe. What I do need... What was my luck today? Uh, it's probably too late to go for, uh... To go for any mines, expeditions. You know what I'm in the mood for? I think I'm in the mood for... Well, maybe try a little fishing, we'll see. We'll drop this off the community center. Might as well dunk these two first. Actually, I don't have any energy to go fishing. What am I talking about? What am I even doing? You always have too many pine cones? It's weird, right? I guess it just depends on which trees are closest to your farm a lot of the time. Hello. <laughs> Need a largemouth bass for my for the pizza I'm making. I can't decide whether that's gross or not. But I'll accept your quest, Leia. Maru's birthday tomorrow, don't let me forget. We will give her a gold bar. I'm pretty sure that's uh that's something she likes. Might as well swing by the saloon, see if we can get some good friendship points here. Or... Little heart event for for us. I've, I haven't seen many of Gus's heart events, or at least I don't remember them, so... This will be a new experience. What's the matter, my dude? Why are we so jolly? Hmm. I can't help but feel a little bad for this, about this. I, uh, I mean, he's got so many other patrons, right? It can't just be me. Oh, okay, he's gonna, he's, thank God he's bl blaming it on Pam. Yeah, Pam, screw, screw her. Wait, no, I'm friends with her too. Shoot. Hmm. You gotta help me. Oh, don't put me in this position. Oh, perfect timing. Isn't this just always the way? Tackling some, like, serious issues here. You need to pay your tab right now, lady! This gentle giant has been burdening himself with your tab for far too long. Okay, no, the saloon isn't doing well financially. Let's, let's, let's ease into it. Let's ease into this. Okay, she, she managed to put two and two together. It would seem. Bruh. She just had the money? Why didn't she pay up? Okay. I mean, it's not fair to say it, because, like, she obviously probably had other expenses and things, but, like, if it was just that easy for her to do it without any kind of fuss... Give me another <laughs> and just back just like that the bolt the old Pam is back at it once again hello there Chloe I feel lazy today well it's too bad you're at work sorry <laughs> I, I've been there I've had those days one forty four P one forty four is actually the number of uh, employees that the Joja corporation employs specifically in their industrial espionage unit to uh, 
to try and sabotage the challenge. They're the ones that slipped me that intel that the Copper Axe was actually required after all. So you can blame them outright for our, uh, our financial shortcomings today. Hashtag blame Joja. Audio is cutting up. Audio trouble this time. Uh-oh. See, that's, that's where I really, like... Oh, that's where I really get scared. The audio is dying. Reloaded the page and I'm fine. Audio go chop chop like copper, like the copper axe. Sap bundles done. I see you there, angry goose. Welcome. Audio is good. Audio is fine. It's fine. Joja has a stranglehold. His big copper axe. Oh no. Audio is perfectly normal for you, Sloth. That's good to hear. Well, I'm just going to have to keep on trucking here as I, as I do. We will see. I'm... Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the all the technical issues I've been, I've been having. It might honestly just be that I just need... I might just have to bite the bullet and say, Hey, my computer is not very, not good enough for to do this consistently. It is an old computer. It's pretty good, but it's a... Uh, it's an oldie, that's for sure. We shall see how things go here. All right. I feel I we got to try it, man. Factor's quest anyone? Factor's quest. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I'm feeling the urge. I'm feeling the adrenaline rushing through my veins. I'm not if I do die once, then I'm just going to call it there probably because uh <laughs> there's no I've already beaten Journey of the Prairie King. There's no sense in beating it twice without getting Fector's challenge done. So we'll just we'll just try our best for that. Not that there wouldn't be bragging rights to be had if I if I managed to beat it twice just all, okay, well, that one doesn't count. That one that, it doesn't count, okay? You didn't see that part. All right, Fector's challenge anyone? Um <laughs> <laughs> round two, let's go, baby. Yeah, round, round, round two, round two. <laughs> if you stand in the, yeah, standing in the corner is definitely the strat here. As I, I say, as I stand squarely in the middle of the board. I mean, standing in the corner can be a little iffy for sure. You just, got, you just got to be smart about it, you know? Where are those guys? <laughs> They're just off on a Sunday stroll. You see that? Jeez Louise. Prime focus. This is the one. This is the one kind of rough thing about about Journey to Prairie King. One of the one of the rough things, I suppose, is that I can't really look at chat except between levels. So pardon me if I uh, don't if I miss something in there, something of the utmost importance. Uh oh, jeez. Almost just like totally spaced out there. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I just murdered two innocent people because <laughs> they were just wandering away. The music, yeah, I'm I'm right there with you, Meg. The music is always my favorite part of Journey of the Prairie King. Far and away. For that's out there. That, that most people don't get to experience because it's so freaking hard that, they, that a lot of people don't even get like past the first boss. Yeah, I really need, really could do with more money. 
I want to be able to afford that ammo upgrade as soon as possible. A good a good five piece coin drop could go a long way right now. That's all I'm saying. That's that's also very nice. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Ooh, ooh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he's going ballistic. There's no stopping this lad. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're starting starting to calm down a little bit. Starting to starting to lose our mojo. <laughs> I'll grab that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well. <laughs> I said it. Notice me, senpai? Thank you very much for the uh, $5 super chat, Kuro Okami. Yeah, I said that. I said I would... I would... Two, two times is enough of enough of an attempt. We'll get Factor's Quest eventually, but today is not the day, I suppose. Thank you very much for the support, Kuro. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Chloe dead. Chloe do be dead, though. We still got a little bit of time left in the day, not much not much energy. Let's go grab some stuff out of this chest up by the mines. And um and bring that back home. We'll take those boys home. I know there's a periwinkle waiting for me up here. That was world one, doesn't count. If it was one dash one, I'd be with you, but that was one dash two. We we were too we were invested in that run. And now I'm too heartbroken to continue. But mark my words, one day, someday, somehow, we will get that done. All right, Periwinkle, take that. What else should I take out of this? I guess I should. I could bring these slingshots home, but I don't really care about them. Stone is not. I mean, what's speed grow? Probably just good to have around. I'm all right with this. We'll want to bring it all home eventually, but no crab cake. Womp womp. So used to using minecarts. Me too, honestly. I've been, I'm surprised that I haven't uh, haven't like even accidentally tried to use a minecart at all in this challenge so far. Let me see. So we'll put these away. Uh, cave carrots, I guess is I guess is technically forged, so we put it in here. Sweet pea. I might just like sell this sweet pea. Actually, it could be a good gift. Who knows? Charcoal kiln. Nobody ever uses these. I might use it. I don't know. Kind of not worth it most of the time. Periwinkle. Join your little eldritch abomination friends. Your main issue has been forgetting you don't have the return scepter. Does he have it in your main save and you use it constantly? I've never actually had the return scepter on any of my saves. So that's one thing I'm actually not going to like miss on this uh, playthrough because I've never had the luxury of having it. Go figure. You knew her? How long is Prairie King? Uh, I think the time we beat it, it was like, what, like 20 to 30 minutes or something for the whole thing? Could be misremembering that, but that sounds about right. I think we're all good here. Tim Beep's already been pet. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Also, Mario's birthday tomorrow. Also, also. You didn't think I'd just leave it at one, did you? You didn't think I'd just leave it at two, did you? Everyone knows third time's the charm, okay? I'm not addicted. You're addicted. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, straw man I just made up in my head. That works. Okay. That's a lot of dudes right there. Hold on. We got it under control, though. We got it under control. Look, I, I, I won't... I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't at least get through, like, World 1 of this place. 
Vector's challenged up. I, I don't expect to, to beat this. Let me make that clear. I haven't done any practice. The one time I did actually, like, beat the game on stream was, uh, was a complete fluke. Something that is likely to never be repeated. But I gotta try, you know? Oh, jeez. Luck be a lady tonight. Okay. And two stars back to back like that. You never you rate three. You give me three. We got it. We got. I'm sorry. That's like that's usually where I look at chat, but we got to make this star last, man. So seldom get them. They're so they're such a rare commodity. Make good use of it. Make hay while the sun shines, as the as the cowboys say. Yeehaw. And this one, this is last in a while. I guess it is additive between the two that we had. All right, well, <laughs> it's fine. All right. For real this time, for real. Step one is admitting you have a problem. Step two is going to bed. All right, level five foraging. I know gatherer is, is, the, is the hot one. That's the one everyone goes for. Forester. This is the one that lets us get hardwood from normal trees. This would this I mean well eventually, like at level ten, right? Um But we don't really need that because we have the copper axe now. If we didn't, if we had known our intel properly, we would have might have gone this like no brainer. We need hardwood. Forester, forest. Yeah, because hardwood's gonna be hard to come by. Because we need a lot of it for the um to make the boat to Ginger Island in the first place, right? I think Forester is probably the way, because we don't have, like, the renewable hardwood. No truffle, truffles, gatherer isn't as good. Yeah, there's no, there's, I don't see a huge point in the gatherer for this, this challenge. Forester all the way, baby. It seems all of chat was pretty well in agreement there, so I'm glad, uh, glad we were on top of that. Neutral spirits? I want this octopus, man. I want this octopus. And ain't nothing gonna stop me from getting it. There's a hot pepper. Check it and see. We need. We got a fever of community center. All right. Ooh. First little bit of row. Look at that periwinkle row. It's like you, How can you not love that color, man? Oh my goodness. That's a. That's the most beautiful cyan blue I ever did see. Brings a tear to my eye. It, it surely does. All right, we will go ahead. We're going to need some of this row, obviously, for our fish farmer bundle. But we need 15, I'm pretty sure. Don't want to make a poll so you can ignore it? Look. That's a slanderous statement. Just because it's just because it's true doesn't mean it's not also slanderous. So, uh, <laughs> be careful there. Come on. You know I'd never do you guys dirty like that. Ignoring the results of a poll, what kind of inconsiderate uh, streamer do you think I am? That color is periwinkle? My mind has just been blown wide open? What the heck? <laughs> it to- <laughs> Thank you, Kuro Okami. That color is periwinkle. What makes you think? What makes you think? What makes you think this is periwinkle row, like colored wise? What makes it? What? What could you possibly see on screen that makes you believe that this is this color is periwinkle? I don't see it. I don't see how you could possibly deduce that information. It's nowhere to be found. That, <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh. We're doing fine. Liars. They're plotting. They're plotting our eventual demise on this farm. Trying to marry Maru. Alright, gold bar, gold bar time. Hot pepper. We don't need it for Shane, we need it for the community center. What else do I want to do today? I want that octopus, dude. I really do. There's just something... It's calling me. It's calling out to me. Also, what are we gonna do for the luau? What do I have? 
Am I cool to just bring like bring like a cauliflower for the soup for the soup? That sounds pretty good. That's probably just what I'll end up doing. I don't think we have any of like the best like super primo quality ingredients for the luau. Lewis's shorts. What's my heart sweat with Marnie? Mar Marnie's is zero harder. I think that's going to be a, a lost cause for this year, unfortunately. Spiceberry. Spiceberry could be a good option, too. Golden Cla Cauliflower is easiest max friend friendship, pretty sure. I don't think I have a Golden Cla Cauliflower, though. I think I only have regular qualities. Cauliflower from Margo on her birthday? I'm just gonna give her this gold bar. Cauliflower is probably an easier one to part with, but actually, gold bar is less is more is more renewable than cauliflower for us right now. So it's fine. It's all good. Hey, farm girl. I've got a question for you. Well, you're starting off on the wrong foot, calling me farm girl, sports boy. But uh, shoot. When I turn pro, you can say you were my first fan. Not bad, huh? That wasn't a question. I feel I got debated. What the heck? No, I don't have time to chat with you. Shane, my guy. He doesn't know we have three hearts. He's he's so aloof. I kind of like it. Haven't had a cauliflower in a while. It's crunchy. Cauliflower is pretty good, honestly. It's kind of one of those those uh, vegetables though that's like it's a it's usually for me it's a vessel for something else like you put like cheese on cauliflower and that's good but like cauliflower on its own not a huge fan it's got it does have that good crunch factor have a nice walk sure did hey there Chloe at least she's not calling me farm girl so offended is Maru up here or is she uh oh she's working away. You're not good enough friends with Maru? It's alright, we, we're chilling. You know what? I can go and try and catch a sturgeon, maybe? You have a super cucumber? Gold Star gets the best luau response. I don't have a super cucumber. I could try and catch one. I know that's uh that's a summer one. Know that for a fact. Anyone know what time Maru might come out of her room? Because I don't- I'm, I'm gonna be way over here. I don't necessarily want to miss her. I don't have that much inventory space to be fishing anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Alex has weirdly sexist dialogue. I have noticed that sometimes. His 99% of the time I'm playing as a girl in Stardew Valley anyway. So a lot of his dialogue that I've seen is catered towards, uh, towards girls. But that's true to life for some people, I suppose. Unfortunately. 1020. 130. 1020. I'm seeing some 1020s. I'm seeing some confirmation of the 1020s. 2 p.m. She leaves the house. Maru. Ooh, whoa, there she is. Happy birthday! Are you enjoying the season? Yeah, I guess so. It's been so warm this year. I mean, maybe if you like wore like a like a t-shirt sometime, you don't have to wear like those that long sleeves all the time. Although it is pretty comfy. Probably growing a lot of interesting plants in your farm. You could say that, Demetrius. Don't, please don't. I'm embarrassed about it. <laughs> it's very disorganized and gross. All right, Maru looking nice and fresh at three hearts. Maru's your wifey. Maru is severely underrated, I think, even by me. I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna lie about that. I, I pretty pretty harshly underrate Maru a lot of the time. I don't. I don't talk about her. I don't think about her that much. But uh, I have no no good reason not to like her. She is a pretty stand up gal. All right, little summer crops. Bada bing. Mm, and we'll be pretty close to pretty close with these crops too, I'm pretty sure. You're the number one Maru stand? Nice. 
the gender you play as can definitely change the vibe with certain villagers. That is, it is a very cool thing that uh, that they do react differently to different genders. Linus, you all right back here? Most, he's calling me a stranger. How many hearts do I, three hearts with you, Linus? Look, I know I gave you the bait one time. Can you let it go, please? I've had enough to worry about today. NPC rule number one, never change clothes no matter the weather. It does seem to be a, a common theme. Yo, isn't there like one mod like that's like, um... I remember seeing it like years and years ago, like a video on it. That's like different clothes for all the NPCs in different seasons. I specifically remember thinking that like Haley's winter outfit was cute as heck. That might be something look worth looking into. Because I do allow strictly cosmetic mods in this challenge. I haven't installed any yet, but I could be persuaded. Nice, fresh and fancy geode. How many are we up to now? I'm not even sure. Seasonal villager outfits. Thank you, Portal in Time. I knew there must have been one. Yeah, it seems it seems that seems like a no-brainer to in, to to install. Honestly, I've never, I never have installed it because I'm not much of a of a modder. Well, not I, not a modder, but like not much of a mod user most of the time. But I'll definitely have to look into that. That's the only mod you use. Respect. We got a Krobus fan in chat. I hope that all of chat is Krobus fans, because uh, if not, we're going to have some problems when we get him as our housemate. Quick little sturgeon, no big deal. Thank you for the 69, uh, not... <laughs> That would have that would have been amazing. Sixty nine dollars. No, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Chat sixty nine infiltrator. Put it up to a poll. The use of the uh, of a mod. The use of the seasonal outfits mod. I can put that up to a poll. Unless you're talking about something else, in which case, like, let me know now. But I am gonna put that up to a poll too. All right. Should I install the seasonal outfits mod? For this challenge, ask your community. Yeah, the mod? Okay. No skin off my nose either way. As long as it doesn't change anything mechanically in the game, I'm totally down for some uh, fresh new fashion. Quickly add this to our uh, lake fish bundle. Actually, complete our lake fish bundle. What do you know? Cosmetic only should be okay. Oh, nice. Thanks for the dressed spinner. I'm going to get a lot of great use out of that with my fishing rod that can never use tackle. Also, lucky bow. <laughs> hey. If these seasonal outfits cost money, if that's extra paid DLC, then we that, that changes my mind entirely. Like, come on. The lucky, the lucky bow. We know, we know, despite our best uh, intentions, we know why we can't have it. We know why we can't have nice things. Seasonal buildings? That could be fun, too. Alright, um... Let's go, like, let's go home and, like, sell some stuff. Give us your childhood stories. I don't, I can't think, you can't just put me on the spot like that. It's got to come up naturally in conversation. It is legitimately hard to think of childhood stories, childhood stories when, uh, when you're put on the spot like that, I find. I'll do my best. I'll, I'll have that, I'll have that on the, my back burner of my brain, trying to think of something before the end of the stream here, but, uh, no promises. All right. I guess I can sell it. 
Um, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep the clay and stuff for now. I don't remember if I need the clay for anything. We already we had that discussion before, but okay. And some geodes up to what is this? Thirty-eight. Krobus with a sun hat slash flower crown slash winter hat. Is that real? I'm seeing 88% for this uh, poll in chat, too. So that seems pretty conclusive to me. Well, I'll look into it between streams for sure. Oh, absolutely. Because that's, that's something I'd like to see, too. Just in a little fresh coat of paint to the game, you know? Could be fun. All right, still got lots of time in the day. I know what I must do. I know what must be done. I know it's been a very fishing heavy stream already, but give me this. Give me this extra. I level up in fishing to seven. Surely that's good enough for a crimson fish. Surely he will hear my call. Her, she will hear my call. Do you think the crimson fish is a male or a female? I know there's like son of crimson fish, which begs the question of who's the mom and the dad. I assume the crimson fish is either the mom or the dad, but but who knows which one? And if that's and whichever one's the case, who's the other? Oh, too many questions blowing my brains wide open. Eighty-eight plus eleven <laughs> percent. You make a good point. Yeah, I think it's just a rounding error of some type. Ooh, wow. Double four jewels all the way. Little trilobite. Don't mind if I do. The Crimson Aunt. Yo, Leia! What the heck? You wanted a largemouth bass. I should have just gone fishing for that, probably. Oh, well. There's always uh, tomorrow, maybe? Mm, nope. <laughs> well, we're here now. Sorry, Leia. The Crimson Fish Calls. Look, I'm not gonna... I was gonna put my chest down by the dock there, and I realize now that that's a bad idea, because it's very out of the way. Fish is fish gender, they... Fish gender. Fish gender, they asexually reproduce. Could be possible. Does anyone walk here? Oh, well, let's hope not. I'm totally going to forget that trilobite in there, and it's going to be the last artifact I need, and no one's going to remember it, and then someone in chat will randomly bring it up 90 streams in, and it'll be a pog moment. Mark my words. I'm kind of with you there, Jesse. I, I usually haven't had the, the urge to mod the game just because I like the base game a whole lot. And there's still a lot of content in the base game that I haven't even seen and haven't even experienced, so I haven't felt the uh, siren song of, of mods so far. There are a lot of cool ones out there that can enhance the experience a little bit. That's kind of what I'm looking for in this seasonal outfits mod. I think it just it would just be a fun little diversion, you know? A little injection of Pog Cosmetics. Is part of this run going to be you hiding from the IRS to not pay taxes? Oof. Thank God there are no taxes to pay. I would whole, throw a whole big monkey wrench into my plans here. Oh, oh, Crimson Fish alert, Crimson Fish alert. <sighs> that one hurt, man. I was looking over at chat. I was trying, I was about to start reading something and then I got mind flooded by, by my Crimson Queen. Come back to me, darling, please. 
Give me one give me one more chance, please, I promise. I just I I just want you and your son. I want to catch both of you eventually. So that I can make the uh don't talk to me or my son ever again meme in Stardew Valley. Real no clickbait. Anything I pay IRL, I have to count towards the total. Are you telling me I have to cut down on my grocery bill for the price of perfection? <laughs> yeah, guys, so as part of this challenge, I decided to go homeless. <laughs> Save some money there, you know, don't have to pay rent. Welcome to the stream, Cam Cook. Glad you were able to catch the last little bit of it here. We, we got another half hour or so to go. My chest is safe, just barely. Good to know, thanks, Laura. I just want one more, one more look at that crown, man. A lot of halibut today. I was worried that this inventory bar was going to get very full from all this fishing down here, but, uh... How are you going to do Skull, Skull Cavern without food? We'll figure out. We'll sort out our food when, this, when the time comes for Skull Cavern. Don't you worry. We won't be able to, like, buy it all, obviously, but, uh, we'll make it work. Ooh! No, 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 no. My queen! All right. It's 11 p.m. It's, we got it. We got to call it there. We'll be back for you later, me hearty. Oh my goodness, Cam Cook. Thank you for the 1999 super chat. My goodness. For the hours of content and sleep aid, get yourself a nice weighted blanket. Thank you very much for that. I never, I've never used a weighted blanket. It sounds like... I've, I've heard two sides of, weighted blank, of the weighted blanket discussion. I've heard that people like can't sleep without them, and then some people use them and they're like, it's, I'm like literally suffocating. And I feel like just based on what I know about my own physiology, I might be in that camp. Argon, why are you so bad? <laughs> you're, I'm not saying you're wrong, but you don't have to say it out loud, man. Pressed like a panini. All right, uh, rainbow shells, sell these bad boys, sell you, sell you. I guess I don't really need the seaweed right now. Bada boom. Bada bing. Let's throw this in here with artifact potentiality. And uh, yeah, we'll call it there. Not gonna say a word. I'm just going to do it. At least at least give me a crack at the first boss, man. What the heck? <laughs> Did you see that cavalcade? This is not fair. They came out so sh they, they, these guys are coming out strong today. Did I put that I set the game on hard mode? What the hell is going on? Oh no, no, no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, well, all right. Well, that, I'll take that. I guess uh, <laughs> I'm only going for Fector's challenge, so those don't really help me in much, in that great of a capacity. But uh, thanks for the. It's the thought that counts, I guess. Well, let me get that. Let me get that. Okay. Really don't want to miss out on any gold. Gold is the linchpin to making these runs work. I remember I got that smoke bomb in reserve too. I, I never, I very rarely use that. In fact, I'm gonna use it right here just so I can get this in reserve instead. I'm so confused. Best part of the song right here, by the way, might be a controversial opinion, but it's a great tune, and that's and that's and that's my favorite part. Looking pretty good. <laughs> the one, the one lonely straggler. Oh lord.
Okay. Eyes on the prize. We want that. We want as much gold as possible. Preferably to get... I think, what do you need? 15 for the ammo upgrade right off the bat? Come on, give me that. Give me that. Oh, gosh. That was, that was scary. Dude almost spawned straight on top of me if I didn't have these upgrades. Might have been toast there. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. We're not hatching any chickens on this run, so that shouldn't be a problem, I guess. Alright, back to defaults. It's a little spooky, but we'll make it work. Bro, get out of here. Please don't... Okay. The greed is real. Even in this make-believe make land of Journey of the Prairie King... Chloe is as frugal as it gets. The penny pincher is of all penny pinchers. Alright, please. Money? Money? I, I see the money down there. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm getting it! You get out of here. They scared me. <laughs> 14! Uh, I'll buy this. It's it's still good, and I should hopefully be able to get to 15 coins before uh, before we have to buy anything again. Sorry, I forgot I forgot to like look at chat between this. My one bane. I'm so enamored by this. This is the farthest we've gotten so far on stream. Well, no, not that's not. I mean, that's not true. Because like on the on our one attempt, where we actually beat the beat the game. We got to the second world without even dying once. But in this stream, this is the farthest we've gotten. Uh-oh. Help. Help. Help me. Help me. Save me, please. Give me something. It's anything to work with. I, I, I appreciate the money, don't get me wrong, but, like, a power-up of any kind? <laughs> any day now? Please? <laughs> oh, okay, well, there you go. That's, uh, that's, that's exactly what the doctor ordered, I suppose. Get this guy out of here. Okay. Don't appreciate being put in a corner like this. Really don't. I think that's worth just taking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you almost had me. You almost had me. Oh, man. We just popped off like no one's ever popped off before. What was I saying about not having power-ups? Oh, never mind. Let's just have all the power-ups instead. Ooh. Ooh, and the gold. A little extra gold. I only need one more piece. Come on. I'm so invested. I'm so invested. I don't I don't have to buy anything after this round, so that's good. The lonely straggler. The Scrooge McDuck of Stardew. <laughs> that's me right now. Huge W. If only you had a shotgun. Oh, you got a shotgun. Basically exactly how that went. Alright. The triple spray is not the best for this level. Not the best thing to have in reserve, but we'll make it work. Don't. Don't touch me. Don't get don't get in my pen. Stay stay out of my house, you weirdos. I need to invest in some doors. Invest in some Five Nights at Freddy's technology here. At least let me like close the doors. I see that gold up top. I'm not gonna be able to go for it, I don't think. That gold I will go for. Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay. Little avant-garde strategy going outside. You don't like to do it a whole lot in this uh in this map, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, don't. I don't want a spiky boy in my hut. You pieces of garbage. Oh, that could be... Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I know I know. things don't drop items, but we already have a lot of gold. We don't need to worry about it that much. I think it was a good cause. Leave those spikes out there. That's good. That's good. We got good blockers up. Good blockers. Oh, there's, <laughs> they're coming in hordes. Hey, leave that guy over there. This is this is fine. It's all working out exactly. This is this is perfectly fine. I'm not overwhelmed even slightly. Not even a little bit. It's all cool. It's it's actually just the coolest. Okay. Wait, the time has run out. No more monster spawning. Has he done it? Thank you for the last minute gold. Bada bing bada boom. You'd love to see it. Alright, get that ammo pack. 
Now we need to get on our gold grind again after that. Everything's going according to plan, just as we intended it. Okay. Just watched my other video completing the without leveling up. <laughs> Glad you were able to join us for the stream, RTN. Uh, this is a bit of a, a bit of a side project within this challenge is to try and beat Factor's quest here. But glad you came, were able to join at a good time. Look at this. Learn this one from the Habu. <laughs> Do it again. You won't. Frickin' nerd. Absolutely wrecked them. I don't like those weird beavers, but if they're gonna take me to the next uh, world, I'm all for it. I guess they're not so bad after all. Didn't, didn't get a chance to hear that uh, the boss music for too long, unfortunately. But I think it's probably for the best. Okay, just gotta stay on top of them. Yeah, you really need the ammo upgrade for, for the second world because these mushroom guys will take two hits otherwise, and there's just too many of them to contend with. You're not uh, getting out of this one alive. You're going to need at least a few lives, probably, if you don't have the ammo upgrade yet. But I suppose uh, people have done more difficult things. Kind of hurting for some, uh, some items, though. I said I said it last time, and the and the items just started spawning out of out of thin air, basically. So hopefully that'll happen again here. That's not the kind of item I want, but you know what? It's the thought that counts. Can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Doing just dandy here. Okay, <laughs> they really don't want me to have that, huh? Too bad. Too bad. So sad. Oh! <laughs> the double! The triple! You already know I'm there on the perfect line! I ain't never seen a 112. Alright, 10 gold. It's enough for a movement upgrade. I don't think it's enough for... Uh, I, I don't think the movement upgrade is worth it. I think it's better to save up. They're coming into your house uninvited like their name was Lewis. He does... He's a weirdo like that. Someone's got to check in with Lewis. Make sure he's okay. Show him a little copper axe. This is a sign that people want a Discord. I do definitely need to set up a Discord at some point. That's uh, that's on me. I, I should have. I should be looking into that more. Factor's challenge with no upgrades run in twenty twenty five. Oh, don't tempt me. Do not tempt me. It might be literally impossible. Although I said that about the no energy challenge, and uh, that's been proven to be possible. Get away from me, you turbo nerds! Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have called them names. It's alright. We'll finish this run out, maybe. You know what? No. I'm not going to finish that right now because we're running late on time in the stream and I want to do this luau. Some things are more important. F. Rip. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, big payday today. Look at all that. Those halibut really raking it in for us. The bullhead not doing too bad either. Would you consider giving yourself a basic axe? I mean, I could. I could just like mod it in or whatever. Like cheated in, but that doesn't change the fact that I spent the money. That's where that's where my uh, that's where my thought is right now. Weather report quickly. Clear and sunny day. All right. Let's get to watering. Ooh, coffee bean. Yes. Oh, that was a good harvest right there. All right. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold everything. Little one, little two, little three, little four. Coffee beans for me, coffee beans for days. Okay. Next time for sure, I certainly hope so. I was, I was feeling good about that run. We'll just have to, uh, we'll have to try again the next time. 
I definitely think I have it in me to beat Vector's Challenge. Just not, uh, not in me today, I suppose. Oh no, what do you think the Eldritch, uh, God of Periwinkles wants this time? We're doing okay, but we'd be happier with a fe a field snack? Like, like that? Hey! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes even Eldritch Gods play kindly. They don't always need a blood sacrifice. They just sometimes, you know, just they're just having a little uh, granola munchies. What's your favorite festival slash event? Uh, probably... Probably Spirit Eve. I really like Spirit Eve. I, I'm a huge fan of Halloween in real life, so, I mean, that should, uh... That tra it, it transfers pretty much directly to the Stardew here, the Spirit Eve Festival. Okay, uh, dump some cloth in here. Seventeen days till coffee season is over. Yeah. Yeah, we got to be careful of that. Can you refill your watering can in the fish pond? I believe I just did, so I hope so. <laughs> oh wait. I put the watering can away too soon. What was I thinking? Clearly I wasn't. Alright, day of the luau. We are going to go ahead and bring a nice lovely cauliflower. When we do go. But for now, I think... You know what? We can catch a... We can catch an octopus on our farm. Potentially. Hello, Lulian Salusa, or Iluli, Iuli, Iulian. <laughs> Sorry if I really butchered your name, but welcome to the welcome to the stream. Glad you're here to join us. What are my pronouns? I am he slash him. Thank you for asking, Betty. Luau has begun at the beach. Well, <laughs> should I just throw this seaweed in? The seaweed that I just fished up this morning. No, no, we'll we'll be nice about it. Is the first time you got to one of the live streams? I'm glad you're able to join. We have a pretty chill, fun time here. So I like to think, anyway. see whose birthday is coming up. It's Alex's birthday. I, f I forgot about Alex's birthday, but he's like a weirdo. He's one of those one of those dudes who like only likes two things as his like love gifts or whatever. And neither of them are very easily accessible. All right, Luau time. Look at me, Pierre. I don't. I'm pretty sure there's nothing we need to actually buy from the Luau. In order to, yeah, nothing there for perfection's sake. Quick little round of talking to everyone in town. What are you doing way up here, Marlin? Air is a lot cooler. I can respect it. Governor, who cares? Why should I care about some random old guy? You'll understand when you're a few years older. What do you think this is? Is this like a pig? Because he just calls it like a roast, right? But I don't know. I don't know. It must. I would imagine it's like a like a hog roast or something. I thought I thought concerned it took the butchering of animals out of this uh, version. Um, quick soggy newspaper in there. Quick field snack. There we go. Marnie, did you not just like witness what I did five seconds ago? I guess she was so preoccupied thinking about uh, a green-shirted gentleman up there. A pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Ooh. Same energy as like bringing weed brownies to the church bake sale. That's about that's about the mo as a uh, <laughs> as risque as my jokes are going to get on this stream. hanging out way down here. It's the wizard. What are you doing out here, dude? The mer people are curious about your festivities. 
They become upset when you litter into the ocean. I don't know who keeps throwing all these frickin' uh, broken CDs and newspapers and broken glasses. It's, there's a, a very large surplus of broken glasses in the ocean, and I don't understand it. How are you, Haley? I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. Great respect for that. She's got good personal hygiene goals. They're just improving their connection with God. Yes, I'll be marrying Krovis, yeah. Because you don't have to pay for the bouquet or the mermaid's pendant in order to do that. I think that's everybody. Oh, I don't think I actually talked to Pierre. Never mind. Hold on. I checked out his wares, but uh, he's more than just a salesman, even if, despite what he might lead you to believe. Just despite what he might lead you to believe. I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Bruh. There's no aged whiskey in Stardew Valley. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. I already did it. I already did you a solid, Lewis. Got that nice cauliflower soup in there. It's a good it's a good basis for any soup. Alright. I think it's time. Yes, let's start, please. Not quite the same level of nerves as asking Haley to dance with me at the at the flower dance. Don't really care as much about what this guy thinks. And if he doesn't like cauliflower, you know what? That's his loss. Like I said, cauliflower is a great vessel for things, and in a soup, it is like A tier. Yeah, close enough, probably. High quality ingredients, just that. I missed Abigail! Aw, oh, frick. Well, you know what? Can't win them all. That's for beating him in the egg hunt that one time. Not in this challenge, but uh, previously, you know. That's for all the star. <laughs> That's for all the Stardew uh, children you made cry when you beat them in the egg hunt, Abigail. Mm -hmm. can, get a little, can we get some soup emoji spam in chat? If there's a soup emoji, find whatever whatever soup like emoji you can and spam it in chat. The, the produce from this valley never disappoints. That's some good soup right there. Mm, good soup. Good soup. I told you I'm in touch with the memes. Who else wants some soup? Me, please. Get it before it's been sitting out in the hot summer sun for 30 minutes or longer. <laughs> Lou, how was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Thank you for the soup, everybody. Good soup. Good soup. And just like that. Another day comes to an end. How are we doing as far as hearts go? Haley, she loves us. We got enough for a six heart event. Poor dwarf. I, I don't stand a chance with this guy. <laughs> Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? That was like a... One of those Gary's mod things, right? Apple soup. It's just soup. So I don't think we have time for one more to start uh, our next start day of Stardew Valley. But you know what we do have time for? To pet Timby. It doesn't say that we're petting him, but we are. We're spending a lot of time with this dude right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe a little too aggressive petting. We also have time for one more run to Journey of the Prairie King, though. So Because I'm probably going to die very early. But you know what? If I if I don't die very early and I get to go like all the way, knock on wood, obviously, then um, that's just more content for you guys. Just a little little bit of a longer extra stream, a little bit of bonus content. And you know what? When I eventually do knock out Factor's challenge, hold on, I had to focus for a second there. When I eventually do knock it out, then we'll just be able to focus 100% on the price of perfection. At least until I unlock Junimo Kart. Alright. Keep your focus, keep your focus. Don't forget you got that nuke in, the, in your back pocket. Not a phrase you would commonly say. <laughs> I, I hope. But. 
in this case is something important to remember. So that's a panic button if you ever need it. Don't need that one right now. I'd rather try and get some items out of these dudes. Alright, I'm actually going to go do that so I can save this. And we're on our way. Thank you very much, uh, Gladiator, Aviator. I'm, I'm doing a... F I'm, I'm, it's folly to look at chat even when there's any enemies on screen whatsoever, but thank you for saying that I have a good voice. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're, uh, glad you've been enjoying the VODs. Anyone, anyone who's been enjoying the VODs or the streams or anything like that, this hat's off to you. Wouldn't be doing any of this without all y'all, so greatly appreciate it. It would be a much quieter endeavor doing this challenge on my own. Much, uh, much lonelier, I suppose, is, is the better word for that. Definitely a different vibe to just straight up recording. Okay, this is not working out so well for me, but that, okay. <laughs> I was like 90% sure I was dead in that corner. But you know what? They gave me the perfect pattern. I am grateful for it, and I'm not going to say any more than that. I don't want to jinx anything here. Just be humble. Appreciate where we are. You don't got to do any more than that. I want three more gold, though, if possible. <laughs> Would be nice. Okay, well, that's fine. Spiky boys go zoom. They are some fast little buggers. So you no know, level vid two vid challenge two days ago and spent all yesterday catching up with the vods. Man, you really binged it, huh? Well, welcome to the stream, Calvin Sprouts. Made it just in time for the highlight of the of the night, some journey of the Prairie King, our fi our final endeavor here. Grab this if I can, please. Thank you. These spiky dudes are. <laughs> I, I gotta stay more on top of them because this is gonna be a problem if I don't. They do, they do, I'm glad that they do block the other enemies, though. That can be pretty useful in a pinch. Quick little grab that. All right. A little speed upgrade. I'm a speedy zombie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you can't stop the living dead. Oh, get that money. Get these big ogres out of here. These guys are spooky. And ten more gold. I don't. I don't know if this this gold. Uh, I mean, you can you can get pretty lucky with like a little five coin drop at some point, and that can change the tides pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. But I'm not feeling great about our gold situation as of right now. Ooh, I am feeling pretty good about that, though. Hold on, hold on. A little bit touchy there for a second, but we got it, we got it. We got it under control, no big deal. Good stuff, okay. So speedy. Perfection in Stardew Valley is tricky. There's a lot that goes into it, so I've learned. So I continue to learn as I uh, as I go through this challenge with all of you guys. As they say, 200 brains are better than one, right? Nice spike pl spike placement there in the bottom left, you nerd. Get it? Because it's not actually a gr very good spike placement. Because it's probably not that likely to hit me. Got him. The money. The money. The oh my gosh. No. Agreed. My egregious greed. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that was painful. Painful for me and probably even more painful for you. Big yikes. Well, that's where we end it.
Thank you very much, Pineapple Pizza. I'm glad you liked the video. I'm glad that you're uh, they're here for for more of it. All right, and oh my goodness. Creeper Pizza, thank you very much for the $10 super chat. Glad I got to catch some of the stream today. Your success is well deserved. Your video, your no level video is legendary, and I'm sure the end result here will be too. I appreciate the uh, sentiment, and obviously the support is amazing too. Y'all are too much. You're too, you're too, you're too nice to me. I'm just a, I'm just a humble little Stardew Valley player. Me and my little Tim Beeb here. Tim Beeb and Chloe, it's all. Oh, it's so overwhelming. I try not to think too much about uh, how fast things have moved on the YouTube in these past few months, because it's it gets to me. It really does. Did I ever decide about the pick upgrade? That is a discussion for another time. It's I'm, I'm still mauling it over my head. I'm leaning more towards the direction of just getting the pickaxe instead of uh, using the bomb, but we'll talk about that later. For now, that's going to have to be our stream, folks. That is, uh, that's the end of it here. Thank you all so much for coming out. Exit the title, make sure I, make sure I do that before I get too far ahead of myself here. But, um, well, I guess I don't need to switch to that yet, hold on. Just got in, sorry. Sorry, sorry Terezi Bug. Thanks for, thanks for choosing to drop in, but, uh, yeah, you just picked the wrong time, unfortunately. This was a stream full of ups and downs and revelations of all sorts, but I think that's just part of, part of the price of doing business. Part of the price of perfection is learning these new things and all this new stuff, so I'm glad with the progress we made. I think it's uh, slowly but surely all coming together. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for being the best community on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned. All the love and support, not only towards me, but towards everyone that comes in here. I see everyone who, when the so many people when new people come into the stream, will uh, will say like, "Hello, welcome to the stream." It's very cool, and that's the kind of vibes that I like to uh, perpetuate around here. Greatly, greatly appreciated, everybody. I will see you all on Sunday for the continuation of our um, journey of the Prairie King Fector's quest. I mean, for the continuation of the Price of Perfection. Um, that. That thing. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do next time. So, have a, have a good night, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Peace out.